Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to The Lost World Jurassic Park from 1997. Once again directed ah, by Steven so Spielberg good. and once again written solo this time by David Kep. Yeah, And as we'll see in Jurassic Park 3, that's actually a good thing. <clears throat> yeah, Jurassic Park 3, I actually really miss David Kep. But anyway, um, basically we are going basically. To, to start before the Universal logo. The... the the flashy one that they had before the 100th anniversary in 2012. Basically, audience, we're going to start right on it, right before it. So, yeah. yeah. When we say click, you press play. Dwibs, yes. you do the honors. Okay. Um, three, two, one, click. Actually got some fun trivia for you, Tio. Um, turns out that actually this movie was being made before the book the second book. It turns out that Steven Spielberg was making the second Jurassic Park uh, movie, and thus Michael Crichton got a lot of requests to make the second book. So actually, so, so is, in a way... A, okay. So it's actually in a rare case yeah. where the book is actually an adaptation of the movie, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't that only one exception before this? Um, like, what's that movie? But the one... Speaking of movie, when's it going to start? What I see is a black screen. <laughs> well, actually, well, well, actually, too. You know, considering there's a there, there's a lot of no, Stephen. Hold on, hold on. You forgot to turn the camera on. You forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> Actually, too, there have been a lot of novelizations made out of movies, uh, uh, so it's it, it's it's kind of hard to. Yeah, but one of the most historic, quote unquote, ones is that of that movie. I can't remember its name. It's the one where the where people. People uh, get shrinked down and injected into the human body in order to fix uh, brain damage. Wait, is, uh, you're talking about the m a movie or microcosm? Like, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll get the name later on. For now, let's just focus on the movie. The Lost. Ah, uh, yeah. Even I knew about this movie getting hyped up, and I was only two at the time. Well, granted, I've done my research. Just to oh. give it, just to give you guys an idea of what I'm, what me and Taylor are talking about. There's a Sega CD game where the ending is somebody turning into a beach ball, which somehow turns into a human, and then you win. Game over. Uh, trust me, <laughs> it makes sense in a context. Oh, it does. Hey. It does. Like, what game? I what know. game is this? <laughs> Don't worry, sure. I will get to it sometime. All right. So we have here the dumbest family ever. Well, they're very rich. Uh, they're, actually, they're, they're dumb. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, Dwibs, after seeing Jurassic Park 3, I now understand that by then, now, this island was sort of kept top secret. Okay, and, of course, any, they, everyone how, who was keeping it secret is either hospitalized it? or dead. Yeah, that, 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 she yeah, makes a good point, see, actually. See, Shiroi, these people are rich, therefore they can do whatever the fuck they want. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, then they deserve yeah, to yeah, get yeah, But uh, yeah. Okay, 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 you know, okay. To be fair, to be fair, the point yeah, of this scene... Oh. The point of this scene is to get uh, people, uh, you know, is to get uh, people riled up about, oh, there's this chaos in the island, so we must go there and trap the dinosaurs and some shit like that. So basically to put in the plot moving. My problem is, couldn't they come up with something mm -hmm. that's uh, least man less manipulative than a little girl being attacked by Consognatos? Really? Yeah. Come on. I will admit it is manipulative. However, unlike the third film, this movie actually has the excuse that the area was in a Spielberg movie. What a shocker! Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. Leave your AI complaints here in the comments actually, section. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Hello, Hello. I hate that movie. <laughs> anyway, come here often. But but yeah, um, basically, I mean, I can see some plot manipulation here, but unlike Jurassic Park 3, this uh, actually has more reason to be occurring since the area isn't restricted because, well, the staff who were trying to keep it a secret are pretty Basic much dead or eaten. Oh, it's cute. Basically, she were to give you an idea, no, it's not cute. Basically, she were to give you an idea oh, of what this is. Cute. The concept Natus is basically the, dino the dinosaur equivalent of piranhas. They attack in groups and they eat your flesh really quickly, so yeah. While you're still alive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, not cute at all. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The problem I have is that the way we're portrayed in this movie, it's kind of like we're under underplayed or something. N not so much underplayed. It's just that we never actually see the, the her being eaten because I guess I guess I guess I guess. Uh, well, they we see later on a guy that gets killed later on, but the way we portray it is like. Oh, I, I love I, I, lo I love the the end of the show. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on. 
Jeff Goldblum! Christ, Jeff Goldblum's not that scary, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Jeff Face Goldblum. Face is hideous. <laughs> okay, audience, for those who haven't seen the first film, this is Jeff Goldblum reprising his role as Ian Malcolm. Whereas Ian Malcolm was rather... Well, okay, he was a dick, but more positive in that one. Here he's it was a bit also more funny. Now he's all gloomy and uh, tight. Uh, and no, shit. No, no, not just mm. that. He's a flat out horrible person because he like he he tre like he he's a really shit parent. Ugh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, the, there's also yeah. that. And also, he, he dropped the whole chaos also, the, the, theory the, argument the, thingy. There is one particular now, scene involving his... Now, there a reason for his changing character, which um, I should probably bring up now. See, basically, um, out of the original characters from the film, Ian Malcolm was the only one who went to the press about there being dinosaurs here. And, well, needless to say, with no one else like backing up that story, know. he was treated insane, he lost his job... Um, lost his marriage, got divorced, and his reputation's down the crapper. So I, so I'll give it this. At least he has a reason to be down, to beat, and depressed. Yeah, but that's not justification for him being. Uh, uh, Besides, that's oh no, 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 happening no. behind the scenes. Oh, I understand. No. Oh, trust me, Pedro. I do I will never let that justify what he does later in this movie. <laughs> hey, look, it's uh, our Alfred for the for the movie. <laughs> yeah, it will be like for five seconds. Did they mention I'm British? Yeah, this yes. is this is one I of the <laughs> yeah this is like one of the yeah yeah this guy is one of those random British actors who always seems to be in everything, but you never actually take time to find out who he is. So it's like Jim Broadbent. Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> and coming up is a cameo. Yeah, that's right. The only other two actors from the first movie make a little cameo. Aside, okay, aside. From, oh yeah, and um, Richard, whatever the other the, Richard, the, the, Richard yeah. Attenborough. Yeah. Oh, too bad I don't care. Yeah. Well, did anyone? Okay, I, I'm sure some people like these kids, but um, did you guys? Not really. No. Not really. She was kind of there. Oh, okay. So, um, hmm. so here we are. Malcolm has been called here by Doctor Hammond on a. Is it Doctor Hammond? Uh, yes, no, no, I guess. No, actually, actually, he's not doctor. He's just a no, no. Yeah, he's just a guy. A, what's the name? He, he's a businessman. He's a rich. Okay. He's a rich. Well, the news are snobby, uh, dick of a day. Okay, like, rich man Hammond. Like, seriously, <laughs> this guy incarnates all the evil uh, snobby uh, cliches. Certain, what's the name? Prosecutor cliches. tropes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, Rich Man Hammond, that's what I'll be calling him, has summoned Malcolm here on a very important mission to go to this second island, which he, which he will explain in a bit. As soon as Jeff Goldblum is fed up standing in the background. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> but, 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 well, this game was made also there, uh, this game. This movie was also made in 97, so there's that. We say that a lot, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, 1997, the year that gave us such classics as Batman and Robin. Ugh. Um, this movie, which uh, is nowhere near Spider-Man okay, okay, no, 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 Spider no, Batman and Robin. Before, yeah. Actually, have a look, what else came mm. out in 1997? Uh, uh, my PlayStation 1. No, oh, Titanic. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh, Men in Black. Uh, well, oh, awesome. the first one is actually good. Yeah. Like the first and the third. The second one. Pfft. Yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. Oh, the second one. Think of the third it, one, the second one honestly think... feels more rushed than that because, like, a gajillion characters just disappear away from the movie. Oh, and guess what other film came out that year? Which movie? What? what? The Full Monty. The, the, the oh, what? Sorry. Joy. The Full Monty is it's a play about it's a yeah, film the about the movie where basically guys uh, do a strip calendar because money. I don't think I've seen that one. It's not fun. Oh, and, and Liar Liar came out that year as well. Oh, awesome! I love Liar Liar. <laughs> and Air Force One. You know what Air Force One is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hi, Richard. Yeah, it's it's um. For those who don't yeah, know, it's... It's Harrison Ford and Nina. I'll, 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 yeah, I... I'll probably what? pick that movie next time. It's just the four of us without two. Who, Air Force? What, Air Force One? No, a Lair Lair. Ah. Okay, uh... Oh, Goodwill Hunting as well. 
I've I've seen that movie recently, actually. Mm-hmm. It gives me a lot of confidence for when Matt Damon co-writes the next Born movie. That reminds me. Um... So, nineteen eighty-seven, not a totally shit year, then. Yeah, it's it's mixed bag. <laughs> A roller coaster, more like. That reminds me, next month we should, at some point, try to start uh, the Star Wars movies commentaries in preparation for Star Wars Episode 7. Well, next month is October, shouldn't be, uh, you know, mm. scary for I know, I, I, I know, the, uh, I know um, Teo, but remember, we have seven movies to cover, so it's kind of helpful. Jesus, to... that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, including, including the Clone Wars movie. Uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and now, audience, we're not doing the holiday special. I'm pretty sure no one is actually capable of saying yes. for that. Uh, well, that's for Christmas. Well, no one enjoy who will want to do that for Christmas or some shit. Yeah, we'll probably just save that for, that but one hey, for it's Christmas. But it's not a Christmas special, it's a holiday special. Yeah, from Life Day, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Oh, 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 crap, Speed 2 came out that year too. Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me, I'm being called. You guys fill in for me. All right. Uh, okay, two members mem missing in action. Uh... Um. <laughs> you should probably maybe explain what is going on in this movie. Maybe. Okay. 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 Basically. Okay. Allow me. <laughs> basically, what's happening here? Um, uh, Richard Adman is basically explaining to Ian Malcolm that uh, uh, there's another island full of dinosaurs called Isla Sorna. Um, the the first the island in the first movie was called Isla Nublar. This one is Isla Sorna. Basically, the, that's the island where they had the facilities where they created the dinosaurs. After creating them, they moved them to the other island. Basically, it's the facility island, whereas the other is the park island. That's basically how it works. Um, <laughs> And basically, now that the logo has been attacked by the Comsignatus, uh, the government is uh, in, pa in panic of the other island, and they're going to basically send government there, uh, government uh, there, and basically capture all the dinosaurs, and uh, so they won't be. Uh, so in the yeah, meantime, he's... there's also uh, John's like nephew or something that wants to recreate uh, a, a park similar to the original project, but in the states. How much do you want and to bet? to go there to study the dinosaurs too. Mm. What do you want so, to say, Pedro? So, um, no, never mind, never mind. So, Joker Commander boarded. Hammond's giving Lieutenant Goldblum his um, mission. Yeah, we, I've already I I've already covered it, though, don't worry. Alright. Yeah, actually, actually, could you imagine if this is like a military film mm -hmm. with dinosaurs in it? <laughs> That'd be a drastic turn. It would have been a fun movie. We're not even getting to the ambientalist part, Jesus Christ. Yeah. yeah. Roll credits. Roll credits. Mm. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is Jova back yet? Nope. Nope. Oh. Well then, I'll be the I'll be the Jova for most of this commentary then. Can you manage to do a proper American accent, Waves? Somehow I doubt that. Um, I'll try, but I can't make any promises. I mean, um, that guy who voiced Wheatley in Portal 2 had very difficult to do that. Mm. I can only do the stereotype. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, Shiroi, uh, um, did you personal watch space, any of the, um... Personal did you watch space. this film before? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on, sir. he's not that close to him. And, um... Yeah, oh, and here's what. Yeah, and now, yeah, and now John Hammond do not write speaking. any fanfics. They're disgusting. Yeah, it turns out Jeff Goldblum had one of his like a gajillion's girlfriend in the in this continuity. Uh, now she's on the Isle of Isla Sorna because she's a she's stupid. Yeah, we'll basically. Uh, yeah. And because he is also stupid and cares for her, he of course wants to rush on on going there. That's the excuse for letting Jeff Goldblum being on Isla Sorna, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Stupidness. Well, yeah. I mean, if there's one thing I can, if there's one thing, okay, one, one, one thing I do like about Jurassic World is that even even the director said having the exact same characters be in the same situation over and over again gets to, gets gets pretty stupid at some point. Yeah, so. whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah. Speaking oh, of which, I like. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I liked how Jurassic World actually. Took an element from the first book, um, the training of the raptors and trying to actually understand them on a the basis. It was neat. Ah, uh, yeah, this scene. Yeah, basically, Jova, um, 
when you listen to this commentary in playback, I'll apologise in advance for my terrible American accent because I was trying to replace you. <laughs> replace me for... Well, don't you see, Joe, that Drips is British, therefore he's compelled to conquer everything, <laughs> including your role. Plus, we lost that American... We lost that American charm, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you... Yeah, we're, we're taking America back. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you guys you love us. us. Uh, you want us back? Ah, you really guys love us, so you want us back that badly? They're, they're, they're still mad about the tea. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, Serious, seriously, that was some perfectly good tea, and you threw it in the lake. You, you wasted bastards. it, man. <laughs> well, next time, don't tax so highly for it. Yeah, well, how about next time you don't try and get involved in our affairs? Free. Wait, uh, we didn't uh -huh. really have much. We didn't really have much choice because old King George was taxing no, no, us over here. About, I'm not talking about the Civil War. I'm talking about in no, general I, over the years. I was talking about the Revolutionary War, not the Civil War. Okay. The Civil War That's, didn't involve uh, you guys. Uh, don't you but... know, uh, the, Civil, the, the Independence War was win because of an, eight, an Native America dressed in white yeah. start killing people. And we're getting off topic. Yeah, let, let, let's go back to the movie before before this turns from a paleontology film into a history lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so they're giving... Uh, oh, hello, hey, look! Question. Vince Swan, what the fuck are you doing? I know, movie? right? What the um, fuck is Vince Swan doing um, here? Um, Honestly, question. no, 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 um, I mean, Vince Swan has never been, like, in an actual movie before or, or oh, something. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay, okay. Why is he here? Comedy or drama and shit. What the fuck is he doing here? Um, I guess he thought guess this was drama. His horizons? Mm. Oh, he was in the most recent season of, um... True Detective, apparently. Mm. Like, like, that's one thing, uh, um... Oh, I, I need to feel a good role. Um... What? Oh, no. Her uh. not her. Oh, boy. She's going to... She's going to be in quite an infamous scene later on in the movie. Yes. Oh. And not just oh, that. She... Uh, we know that Ian Malcolm had a lot of relationship, but you... Come on. All right, and now this is where... Okay, allow me to get this out of the way right now. David, you don't know how to write kids. Uh, basically, this... Uh, his, basically, sorry, his daughter is not going to ask him to ground her. What kid actually asks that to you a know, parent? You know, to be fair to David Clapp, Pedro, that was actually a trend in the 90s. Like, kids wanting more strict uh, parents for some reason. Not where I, Honestly, not where I come from. Not <laughs> where I come from. If you, no, wanted, no, 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 if you no. wanted someone to... I'm not talking about in real life. I'm talking about in movies. For some reason, writers thought that kids wanted tough parents that would ground them. Parents <laughs> that would punish them. Uh, can I... Can I... Can I um, Go ahead, go ahead. What is it? If you wanted someone who could write kids, why not get Steve Clovis or something? Mm. Well, uh, what was did Steve, you around the time? Uh, was Steve Clovis uh, already famous as a writer at this point? Um, I think he might have directed a couple of films. I think it, I think there was a couple of films he wrote and directed that might might not have been financially uh, popular. Uh, you know who they could have get? You know who they could have gotten? John Hughes. Because uh, John Hughes is really good at writing Yeah, but kids. Pedro, by this point, John Hughes was his um, annoying slapstick writer self. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, when, did, when did Home Alone 3 come out? 1997. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Uh, yeah, and, and Steve Clovis didn't... His, his, his most famous thing is the Harry Potter films. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Great parent, great parenting, Goldblum. Great parenting. I yeah. I mean, uh, I guess to be uh, fair, I, uh, he could be considered a bad parent even from his first Jurassic Park persona, but jeez, was that seat awkward. Yeah, don't listen to him. Yeah, oh, yeah. never mind. And, never and mind. Never mind. Ready, never mind. I will not ask any guard to get the get you the fuck away from here. You know. And, here, okay. and here's our, uh, our uh, guy whose only purpose is to die. <laughs> Poor bastard. Ah. Who has only like, yeah. Is he going first? Yeah, he, going he, first? Ha he only has like five lines in the entire movie. If it's any consolation story, though, he goes in one of the most awesome ways ever. Let's not spoil that. Let me guess, it's not actually Vera Dinosaur, it's something else. Uh, he falls, kind of. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 never mind, you're right. No, never mind. I, 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 uh, that's right, he gets yeah. eaten. There you go. You'll oh, he that. got eaten. Oh, well. <laughs> 
But he gets eaten in a spectacular So basically, way. Shiroi, uh, Jeff Goldblum told her, uh, his daughter, okay, don't listen to me, you know, don't listen to me. So obviously she interprets this as, wait, okay, uh, oh, so, so, that, so that means wait, you want um, me to come with you okay, to the dangerous so, island of dinosaurs. Okay, um, is John oh. Williams practicing for his Harry Potter schools now? I guess, yeah. Seriously, this well, sounds like... If Harry Potter was in development at the time. It was probably in development for quite a bit by this well, point. Well, the first one was like, what, in 2001? Yeah, the first one was 2001. No, 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 I love how oh, yeah. in the I love how in the map the five islands are called Las Cinco Muertes, aka the five deaths. <laughs> yeah, so we're good. gonna we're gonna also remark that in a second. Also, mm -hmm. well. yeah, I have yeah. been to Universal Studios though. Oh, it was yeah, fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, okay, Jeff. When I say, oh my god, it's the set. Oh my god, it's the set from. Uh, uh, what was that movie called? I forgot. Okay, well, well, Jova, when I say we have a Warner Brothers, I mean we have the Harry Potter. Red Sonia, that's it. We have the Harry Potter um tour studio. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, plus yeah. and plus Leavesden Studios recently got got bought by Warner Brothers. You know that guy mm -hmm. look kind of looks like Earl Bowen. <laughs> 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 Basically, I was talking about the amusement park, the Universal Studios amusement park. Oh, no, I we said, don't have in, any of those, no. Oh, God, you guys are missing out on an awesome Harry uh, Potter. Jova, uh, you're, it's Europe you're talking about. We barely have Disneyland. Huh. It's a I, shame. And even our Disneyland is barely Disneyland. You know, you know, you, yeah. you know, you know if you wanted some guy who can use, look cool and say cool things, you just get Bruce Campbell, not Vince Vaughn. I mean, uh, you just gotta get some guy. Well, no, well, well, Pedro, considering guy, what's his guy. role later on, he kind of fits the part because, you know. Oh, yeah, guess, oh, what, else, yeah. guess, what, guess what? There were two other films that came out in 97 that were. What were they? What? Um, the Postman. Uh, I haven't seen it. And Mr. Magoo. Ugh. <laughs> Mr. What? Mr. Magoo, nah. the, the, the blind guy. Yeah. Basically, she it's uh, it's yet again Hollywood uh, bastardizing a classic 60, 60s cartoon. Even if he did, even if he didn't like the show. Okay, yeah, I will admit though the soundtrack still manages to hold up. Well, it's Maybe John Williams, the first so. one, but it's still good. Yeah, John Williams in a kind of film like this, he's very good. Ah, uh, bullshit! Bullshit! What? That what? GPS, yeah. it's totally bullshit. Yeah. How? <laughs> yeah, GPS in 97, the there wasn't such a thing no, with that no, kind of technology. No, no, but don't you see, Teo? He's not actually holding uh, a GPS. It's a modified Game Gear. <laughs> he's, he's, actually playing, he's actually playing the Game Gear oh, version. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. Beautiful line delivery coming up. Uh, Why are you, Snow? Go away. <laughs> but, 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 but basically, uh, Dwebs, uh, when Troy Baker performed Snow in Final Fantasy XIV, he took inspiration from Jeff Goldblum here. Jason! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason! Sean! Sean! Jason! Press X, press X to Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Well, okay. the dinosaurs here... Oh, they he look looks slightly enough. inferior to the other one. Mm -hmm. mm, they look good enough. Much better than free. It's still pretty early. I mean, how good did CG really look at this time? In 97? Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess it depends on your budget and how good the director is at doing CGI stuff. Mm. Yeah, which this film had this film does have both of those. It has a large budget, and it has Steven Spielberg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the problem is that this is post Schindler's List, Steven Spielberg. Uh, honestly, I'd still say that this is overall a good enough film. I mean, it's it's at least got the things that you're expecting in a Jurassic Park film to you know actually what? satisfy. You know what? You know what I'd think would. Make uh, a... there she is, and I already hate her. You know? You know what I think would make her actually. Pretty... Jesus Christ, this character is. Well, you know she, what I... well, 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 it also doesn't help too that she's played by Julian Moore. So. <laughs> uh, what else she did? She did. Uh, basically, she's infamous for a lot of uh, shitty romantic comedies. 
You know what? I think we've maximum hey, a pretty good. Spawn and now. Perfect. Okay. Oh my god! I'm seeing a trailer. You're confusing a video or movie here, I guess. Yes, man. <laughs> Do you realize this is a movie about yeah. dinosaur eating people? Yeah, and, and I was just gonna say, could you imagine if like, in the, could you imagine if like if this if if they made it not not exactly a Jurassic Park film, but a film about dinosaurs that had um that has very good visual people behind it, like um. You mean like the dinosaur film? Yeah, kind of like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ah. And um, uh, I haven't. I, 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 okay, aside yeah. from okay, I gotta say, aside, okay. aside from this movie, I haven't really seen Julianne Moore in anything. Uh, basically, like I said, Webb, she's basically mostly known for doing shitty romantic comedies. Okay, this character is so stupid. She has the uh, what's the name? What's the term? Um, Conservation instinct of a fucking glass, uh, fucking glass bottle. Like, <laughs> no, she holds the idiot ball. Yeah, basically, she's here to photograph. She begs to be destroyed, or yeah, she's them. basically just yeah. She put herself in just so she photographs some dinosaurs because that's. And she doesn't re listen reason because oh no, it's more important and shit. Oh it's like you see yeah. People on, it's like you see people on why um, Twitter. Why she Jeff got a young Malcolm's girlfriend? She would be perfect for being Vaughn's character, as we will see later on. You know there are actually some people who will try to take selfies near bears. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, Shiri, yeah. Well, Shiri, <laughs> for that, thankfully, the real world has a big little thing called Darwinism. It works. <laughs> Trust me. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, this isn't the most unrealistic. There actually are a lot of people. Not, not to mention, not to mention, Shiroi. Yes, it's uh, yes. People being stupid is realistic. However, just because something is worse doesn't automatically mean it's good enough. It's good to put in a movie because waterboarding is realistic. Oh no, I'm just but saying. That doesn't I'm just mean pointing at how right, stupid yeah. people are. I mean, it's, it's like a, well, it's like a, again, if the social network is anything to go by. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg's story happened, but that doesn't mean it's good. It makes for a good movie. <laughs> I know if, if the Steve if, if the trailer for Steve Jobs is anything to go by, we might be getting Social Network 2.0. And to be fair, and to be fair, Dwibs, if that actually what it would um to be fair, Steve Jobs is based off of a real story that they're trying to get. Yeah, but Jobs, like I said earlier, off commentary, there's a difference between real life and in a movie. Mm -hmm. Well, Dwibs, well, Dwibs, well, Dwibs. If it's a movie trying to relate, um, if it's a movie trying to re re um to relay a real life story, then you can't blame them if the guy is a dick in the movie. <laughs> if he was a dick in real life, that's like trying to make a movie about Hitler and make I, him nice. I, 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 I get, I get that. I get that, Jova. Yeah. Oh, Jova, you, I, I, I waited a long time for this. Uh, I re remind you. What nostalgia chick think what could be a Disney adaptation of uh, Anne's Frank Diary? Allow me to explain uh, something to you, Joe. Like, let, let's come, yeah. let, 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 like, for example, the big difference between Social Network, which is a piece of shit, and Downfall, which is a great movie. Uh, Downfall is about Hitler. However, the movie doesn't glorify Hitler and doesn't make you want to like, uh, doesn't try to make you like him. Whereas Social just Network... just tries to make him no human. That's it. What, what, I'm not trying to defend Social Network. I'm talking about the Steve Jobs film. Social Network is the piece of crud. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, they can't have somebody. can't have somebody be all nicey nicey in a movie. It would be completely boring. So they have to make someone an asshole. Yeah, but the main character. Mm, I'll, dis oh. I'll disagree with you there, Shiro. Honestly, yeah. I mean, uh, in your watch, everybody's nice. There's no villains, and yet. I mean, it depends on how good the writer is, really. Uh, no villains, seriously. Uh, except from the movie, no, not really. No, there aren't. Did apart from the movie, there are none. Yep. What about that Orochi segment? There, there technically uh, Jay, are some. That's played for laughs, Jova. I know, I know, I, I know it's played for laughs, but it's still a villain. It's like, well, it's like, well, okay, okay. The conflicts aren't as great, but there are still antagonists in some way. They're not outright villains, yes, also, but there is an antagonist in a confrontation. Also, keep in mind sorts. that scene uh, with Bean Spawn trying to smoke. I'll bring that later on. Okay. remind me. When did the cell come out? Um. Oh shit! Hang on, I'll check. I think it's well, two thousand. Um, while, while I while I look it up, um, quick guess on the question. Um, who does anyone here find Vince Vaughn funny? Uh, 
I do. No. In, 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 in some it movies, on what is it? It, it, yeah, what Jova said. It depends on what movie is it. If it's in something like um, that uh, marriage movie, I forgot which which the English name for it is. Uh, it's fine. The, the, the one with Owen, where he's um, pairing with Owen, Owen Wilson uh, because they have great chemistry. Uh, uh, um, yeah, the cell was two thousand. Yeah, basically, mm -hmm. Teo, he's practicing for the cell. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Donofrio was in that movie yeah, too? Yes, he was, and he fucking sucked. But then again, everybody yeah. sucked in that movie, which is a shame because I really love Vincent Donofrio. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's actually, yeah, he's, a, yeah he's, he's pretty good at doing different kinds of roles. Mm -hmm. Anywho, oh, I think oh, he's here part we go. Of Where Private Pile has his masterpiece, shall we say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh also isn't the van having a kitchen inside it like you really need a campfire apparently hold not on, hold on listen <laughs> <laughs> okay 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 another thing I actually like about this film yeah I know it's technically a bad performance but honestly Jeff Goldblum's performance in this movie is one of the oh, no, no, no. fantastic Jeff Goldblum is actually the best part of this movie because it's so hilarious but uh what I'm, talk uh, what I'm talking well, about is... he's uh, one of the best parts. That, that's what, Fantastic uh, delivery, guys. That, that's Fantastic. What, that's what I By said. By the way, you. what's the, uh, the the black girl's actress name? Like, uh, did actually, she manage to do anything girl, after this girl who did who, Girl whose career went nowhere. I'll go oh. take a look. What a shame. It's, 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 it's very rare, actually, for a child actor <laughs> to have a successful adult career. Mm -hmm. I mean, for every Joseph Gordon-Levitt, we yeah, have... Yeah, look at Ellie Joe Osborne. He made a successful movie, and now he's stuck voicing a character with spiky actually, hair. Actually, actually, oh, Teo, on, actually, Teo, Ellie Joe Osborne is he still making than... movies, uh, except he, might, yeah. he does independent films. For every, it's like I said, for every, um, for every Joseph Gordon-Levitt we have, we get a um, Macaulay Culkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, uh, Ailey Joel Osment didn't become like Macaulay Culkin, where he, you know, he started doing drugs or something like that. What happened is uh, he kind of fell low on the radar because, it's, uh, because uh, he didn't get any big roles after AI. Oh so, my god. So his career... Oh my god. It, 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 wasn't, big, Actually, it wasn't his fault. Hold on, hold on, Pedro, hold on, go Pedro. Ahead. This is uh, about ahead. the actress. Actually, she's been in a lot of stuff even after this. She was in She's All That as Melissa's friend, Get Real, once and again. Wait, Steps she was in She's All That? Well, yep, was by she that. Was. She well, was Melissa's friend. She was also in the movie. Oh, she was also in the movie Extreme Movie Justice, Front of Mars, <laughs> Shit, Seventeen Again, Family Law, and she was in an episode of Malcolm in the Middle. And uh, she's been in an episode of Switched at Birth and an episode of How I Met Your Mother. Oh, so basically, she's so a TV actress at this point. Cameos. She's doing fine. Um, in she's doing. Uh, also, in terms of movie, too, um, Basically, um, I wouldn't say that this movie even really ruined her career. Because, like I said, this isn't even really a bad film. Now, maybe she showed up in a movie like um, Social Network. Or, wait, never mind, never mind. What am I saying? The Social Network got praise for some reason. Uh, Jurassic Park 3. Basically, to Ellen Joel Osment's career not being, uh, you know, super glorious and shit, it wasn't actually his fault. It was just, a, it just didn't go as well as it could have been. Yeah. Besides, you know, he's doing. He's still doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, yeah. He does independent so. movies, and it, it allows him to live and shit. So it's fine. Oh, speaking of speaking, and I know of, you may disagree with me on this, but I wouldn't really say it's a bad thing that he's speaking of speaking of, Sora. I was gonna say speaking of guys who mostly do independent stuff nowadays. You know what movie we could see one day? Mm -hmm. We already right. did well, Fury. If that's no, what you're no, 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 no. There's this film that Elijah Wood was in called The Pianist, where he has to he has he gets a letter. Oh, I, that one! Wait, didn't we solve that already? No, no, we no, didn't see no, that. Um, basically, oh, well, Lightwick sent a letter saying he has to. He's performing a song, but if he performs just one note wrong, he'll be killed. Interesting. Huh. That'd be like if, like, can you imagine if I could? Can you imagine if that did a political movie where if you got one policy wrong, you'd be assassinated? Or um, if someone got one game over... If that over, were true, then we wouldn't have a government. 
a lost one life in a movie. So, so, By the way, we are 30 minutes okay. in the movie and yeah. we still haven't seen proper dinosaur stuff on site from the Stegosaurus. Well, t- well, to be fair, this isn't like Godzilla 2014 where the stuff was I was bored. just going to say, I kind of feel yeah. like this is what you guys felt during Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 this, 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 Oh, trust me, she right. Like... Believe it or not, this is actually uh, still better than the Godzilla movie. Oh, no, here's the real villain okay. of the movie. Okay. My. Basically, she was right. unlike <clears throat> here, the stuff, aside from Brian Cranston's stuff, the stuff in Godzilla 2014 is just boring. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not to mention the fact that in the case of this, there actually is some justification for us not seeing the dinosaurs, and by the time they actually do show oh, us the boy. dinosaurs, they make sure to keep it on the dinosaurs for a good portion. Oh, guys, Pete Postle fight. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, that, no, no that, that, that one possible be part for Floyd. The bald one who looks like Patrick Stewart. Yeah, what else did he yeah, do? Seriously, he looks so much like Patrick Stewart in this movie. I almost... I... Yeah, what else what did he do? Um... I- I found Pete Postlefight was the narrator in the um, James and the Giant Peach movie. Oh. <laughs> British, 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 British. Hey, she, right? In a film that's mostly dominated by Am- in an industry that's dominated mostly by Americans, I like having British classiness in a film. I do as well, but when like you don't really notice it, but when you have British and American people in the same room, like it, it's kind of very noticeable. <laughs> Let's see, Pete Pufferfoy. I want to see Bannon. Let's see. And why is it whenever people, whenever Americans get British actors to be in their movies, their accents are incredibly British? <laughs> oh yeah, like when, like when Robert Downey Jr. put on a British accent for Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, that would be... I like Was it that bad? Movie. No, 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 Peter, no, 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 go play no, no. Fossil Fighters and get your homework. I liked, the Sherlock, <laughs> I liked both Sherlock Holmes movies, and I did like how Robert Downey Jr. performed the part, but his mm-hmm. accent left a little bit to be desired. Okay, okay. It's not a horrible accent, it's just, he could have done that. Anywho, let's get back to the movie now. So yeah, finally, back to the dinosaurs. So basically, there Yay. are these scientists here who want to preserve the dinosaurs and put them in a zoo. And honestly, man, in a and honestly, in the most evil satanic as possible. And honestly, I hate to say it, but I can't actually see where they're going with this. See, the dinosaurs. Uh, Jova. Okay. Jova got eaten. And also, we got a sixties, sixties Woodstock reject. You cut out. Yeah, yes. Sorry, sorry. Jova, you cut out. Ah, uh, okay. Basically, I hate to say it, but I kind of side with the hunters in regards to, like, well, honestly, the dinosaurs stand a better chance in a zoo than being left here to eventually waste their resources and die out. Oh! Yeah, yeah they'll be eating us instead. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Jurassic World is for. <laughs> go, go, go. Catch Gadget? The- yeah. Oh, no, this, this is, yeah, this is clearly some 90s man propaganda. Like, yeah, pretty Jesus. much. This is not Although so badly. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, for some reason, there's actually there's actually a bit of a kind of debate over whether this film or Jurassic Park 3 is the least worst of the um, mm. of the two sequels after Jurassic Park. Honestly, I can never understand why people would consider this worse than Jurassic Park 3. At least this film actually the has only, the act- The only reason people give us that it's longer. Here's one of your reasons, Vince Vaughn's character. <laughs> really? Honestly? Yeah, but, uh, Gio, I, I see you, Vince Vaughn, and I raise you tail, I, I don't. I don't mean. I don't mean the actor, I mean the character of this movie. No, 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 that's, that's, that's what I meant. Tail character character's much yeah. more annoying in 3 than Vince Vaughn is here. Let me put it like this, Tio. Uh, Peter, you know, when did you lose your hat? Yeah. You know, Tio, Vince Vaughn's character in this movie, I'll take him over the entirety of the cast in the third movie. Except for maybe Grant. And that's a big <clears throat> maybe. Yeah, yeah, but that's only because um, Sam Neill in that movie was just phoning it in. Honestly, I can't really blame him, considering now all the stuff about there being an unfinished script and everything. 
Wait till you eat, wait till you guys see him in United Passions when we get to that. Uh. Oh, speaking of that, who wants in on that movie? Do, 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 is that we, the we, we've already discussed this. Whoops. Did we? Yes, we did. Like, uh, actually, we did actually. I, actually, it's. I think it's like the third time you're bringing this up now. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, it, yes, it is. I like to bring up my, United wow. My, if 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 my memories, if 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 at twenty one, my memory is as bad as Pedro's is at nearly thirty. <laughs> I hate to be. I hate to find out what I'm like when I'm actually nearly thirty. <laughs> Thank, oh no, thanks a lot it's to, so cruel. Thanks a We're lot to it for, to be sad. Thanks a lot to it for reminding me that I'm an old fart. <laughs> Look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> We're evil. <laughs> dun, what dun, a span become. Man, I know when I'm being manipulated. Thank you, Spielberg. <laughs> <laughs> honestly Pedro honestly Pedro Spielberg's so unsubtle about it here it's actually kind of amusing well, Spielberg and it's a, 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 I mean uh, Schindler's List aside Spielberg has always had a problem with subtlety and even then in Schindler's List we had some moments that were a little I had to watch that in uh, history <laughs> I've got it on Blu-ray I just haven't seen it Schindler's yet Schindler's List is Steven Spielberg's best movie basically it's, the, it's definitely his best made, best made movie is that the one in black and white? Yeah. Yeah. Not that I have an issue with stuff filmed in black and white, obviously. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm going That's to... a good movie. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So, anyway. Um... Oh, Why also... You... Oh, here we go. Uh, can you tell me the actor who plays this character? Tim, because I think Tim I Roth. already see... saw him. Oh, 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 yeah. Tim, Tim Roth. He was also in United Passions. Yeah, yeah. Tim Roth. And he... Anywho, anywho, before we divert this off into United Passions again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why, why do I keep doing that? Do you have a fetish with that film? Yes, he does. <laughs> also, a person is using a taser while he's wet. Uh, it's not a good idea, buddy. Have you seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes? Look what happened to Tom Felton. <laughs> You're like those people who stick knives in toasters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm not. I'm not spoiling anything here. Basically, in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Tom Felton tried to use a um, shocker on one of the apes, but the ape squirted him with water, and thus the um, the electricity went back onto Tom Felton, and he died. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! This. This is rem- this. This. So far, this bit's kind of reminding me of um, that scene in. Alaska, the style to critic reviewed. Basically, Chiro, that's a baby T Rex right there. Aww. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Chiro, yeah. did you no, hear? Shiro, it's not cute. <laughs> Aww, but I actually like it. It's cute. By the way, Chiro, a lot of cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's cute, cute when it's eating meat of a dead person. Yeah, sorry, what was that, Joe? <laughs> By the way, I probably brought this up, but apparently a lot of people claim that the baby T-Rex grows up to be the T-Rex in Jurassic Park 3, yeah. which might explain why it's so small. I mean, I know it's on the same island, but... You um, mean the one that dies uh, to, from uh, the... Allow me. Not, enough, not enough time goes by. Alright, allow me. There can't be just one T-Rex. Allow me. Teo. On a level... Oh, 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 that's just one. Le- uh, Teo, from 0 to 10, how douchey is this? <laughs> uh, very. Oh, it's incredibly douche. Oh yeah, you know one. Uh, you know one thing I've noticed, guys. Yes. What? Mm-hmm. From from, you know, in in for our commentaries on Jurassic Park three and four, we lose one member each time. So when we get to Jurassic well, Park by four, five, we lose two a, members. Yes. But when we get to when we get to Jurassic Park five, the commentary is only going to be done by two people. Uh no. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. We don't. We'll just see what happens. We'll see. So, uh, and, yeah. and eventually when we get to six, there'll be one person commentating on it. <laughs> no, and, then no. Do, and then in seven, it'll no just one. be the movie. With text commentary. Yeah, <laughs> we're too lazy. <laughs> uh, Ian, maybe that might not be a wise idea. I mean, yes, they have the dinosaurs in enclosings, but uh, if you got- here's one. Oh my god, this this is when 
you know, Vince Vaughn starts really becoming very stupid. You see, because now it is revealed that Vince Vaughn is secretly an ambientalist all along. So, and the kind of annoying ambientalist, you know, the guys that rubs in your face when you're evil or something. Could you imagine, hey. if, Rob, could you imagine if Rob Schneider played this part? So, no, 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 no. I have a better idea. No, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea, Dwibs. What if Hugh Glory had played this part? Uh, uh, Jova, why do you bring that up? Uh, oh, come on. You know... I'm not. Oh, come on. You knew that that was coming when we were talking about that. It, it, it pisses me off because I love Hugh Glory. All I heard oh. about it, too, but before that point, all I heard was. Third act's pretty stupid, but I don't oh know God, why no. it's stupid until that point. And now, Vince, <laughs> thanks to Vince Vaughn's stupidity, we're going to do the characters are going to do the most stupid things possible. Yep. I don't like, see anything new oh, so far. Oh, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, let's let the dinosaur out. Let's let like the dinosaur. Let's let the you know, stegosaurus out. You know, let's put the T-Rex for a joy What could possibly? What, what could possibly go wrong? You know. You know, guys, when Newman let the dinosaurs out, he only did it because he was a scumbag and because he was trying to escape and just happened to let them out in the process. You, on the other hand, are freely letting dinosaurs that would trample or eat you at a moment. Because, yeah, because Vince uh, Vaughn's an environmentalist. This, uh, think about this. With these actions, Vince Vaughn <laughs> is potentially killing people. You know, yeah, and but, he doesn't even care. Oh, yeah, but so Vince, I remember yeah, but, this like, Yeah, but paid be a tear, don't you see? Vince Vaughn cares more about life than humans, so that's why he's letting them out, because he's oh, environmentalist. I don't remember much from this movie, but this was one particular scene I remember. You see, you, you, you see, you see, Dwebs, you know, pe pe people want peace, but they don't go for it. Wait a minute, Jurassic World didn't look like that, I call bullshit. Yeah, I know. I the people it's... love each other, the world would be a better place to live. With dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> and children's card games. Yes. And, and Pokemon battles. Okay. Oh, um, remind me, there's a new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie coming. Yeah. Wait, Rob, oh, really? The, the, yes. the original uh, characters. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there we go. But, but basically, Teos... And people died. Basically, <laughs> Teos... <laughs> coming through! Basically, Teos, since the whole Zexal thing didn't work out, uh, Kazuka Takashi decided to go back to the original series. Oh, um, Pedro, 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 he already made Arc V's, you remember, true, right? True, true, but he's still making a movie from the, based on the original series. Dude, they always wow, do that. Wow, how precise. <laughs> Regardless of how the shows are doing, of course they always come back to the original series. Like it's, um, how shall I put it? Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 let's have let's Shiroi. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, okay, we all know what's going on, but let's have Shiroi. Shiroi, they're going to bring a t this baby T-Rex... Uh, to back to their camp. Uh, take a because while. The, the reason the reason is because he is um, injured and they want to heal him. So yeah. take a while, right. guess, Shiroi. What's gonna happen? Somebody is going to get eaten or partially eaten, or they're going to eat the T Rex. I don't know by who. But but, oh, but, but, but who's going gonna? To but, but who's gonna eat? Uh, per people from uh, uh, Shiroi. Take a while, guess. T-Rex is gonna eat them. Well, no shit. You bring the baby, who's screaming, by the way, calling for his parents. Oh. What did you think was oh, going God. to happen, you fucking morons? Let's listen. Thank you. <laughs> even here, she's say even she's saying See? it out of his Thank eyes. Thank you. So you're making I Sarah you Harding said... look competent by comparison, you know. I thought you said she was a bad character. If the movie... <laughs> Honest... <laughs> yeah. Honestly, 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 Tio, Sarah Harding may get on my nerves, but... Honestly, I'm still okay with her because she at least still has her occasional smart moments that redeem her. Vince Vaughn, on the other hand, oh, by all means, hey, Vince. It's like, it's like, hey, Jova, Pedro, remember that scene in Chappie where, where the main scientist character, Dev Patel, is pitching the. Wait, 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 wait. Pitching, wait. Was, pitch, wait, wait. was pitching Chappie to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. Dev Patel was in that movie? Yeah. I thought it was just that band. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. He was, pitching, he was pitching the thing to Sigourney Weaver, and Sigourney Weaver said, So you came to the CEO of a publicly traded weapons organization, and you pitched a robot that could write poems? Yes. <laughs> You know, I, 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 it's not even just that, uh, Joe, but I guess or what? There's also this rumor going around that apparently Hugh Jackman was apparently somewhere in there. <gasps> really? Yep. 
Oh, and uh, guys, if, if you looked, um, if you looked for really... Oh, that reminds me, Pedro. Uh, that reminds you, Pedro. Did you see those rumor sightings of Sigourney Weaver? <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah. all right. Okay. Let's stop riffing off of Chappie. We already commentated on it into its what, drunken you, gloriness. Piece if you of want shit. To know more about Chappie, watch our Chappie commentary. Warning, it's a piece of shit. Let's walk over to the drunk side. Special warning, oh. special warning, though. It's a piece of shit. It's going to piss you off. But the Literally. commentary. So, uh, how long does it take before they get picked up one by one? Oh, trust me, Shiroi. More, more faster than you can think of. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why this movie has like, its awesome Look at Jeff Goldblum's reaction. Seriously, <laughs> Goldblum's you like, know, hey, you damn mind. Uh, you have a, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, you know, uh, Vince. Right. Maybe you should uh, use one of those thingies to, to you know, cl force up, <laughs> force close his mouth so he won't bite you. In fact, I don't even know. In fact, why isn't the, the baby T Rex even attempting to bite them? Just tranquilize him or something. Well, okay, this is actually a thing. This has actually been a historical thing where predators will, in some ways, form bonds with people if they show ki enough kindness to them. Like there was this news report of this lion who, I kid you not, after being rescued by a woman and returned to the zoo, actually hugged. Her yes, and I, I, I can her. I can clearly see these baby T Rex being in affection with the characters. Yeah, well, I so. guess oh, yeah, it just, depends. I guess it depends concerning they just genetics. Like Okay, okay, okay. Concerning genetics, it could be possible, and it's probably not attacking them because it's mortally wounded and probably doesn't want to strain itself. Oh, and also, so also, air, uh, the motivation of their injury of injuries is just glorious. Apparently, the baby T Rex has a leg fractured leg, and if they don't heal it, he will never be able to walk properly and will die. Who fucking cares? Like, seriously, do we have to care? Yeah, the black <laughs> the black girl has the spider say the in the room. Yeah, her too. Honestly, but we don't want to be around the killer beast that is going to um, eat us. Okay, Tio. Yeah. I get the feeling you're not a big fan of this movie. No shit. Oh, no, I, 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 I'm He's not a, a fan of its stupidity. Mm -hmm. Like seriously. See, dribs. See. See, Dribs, here's the stance on Jurassic Park 2 generally. Um, overall it's liked, but its stupidity is not ignored. But yeah, and yeah, I still don't get why Nostalgia Critic thinks this is worse than free. It's the same person that thinks Temple of Doom is worse than Indiana Jones 4. Well, it could be, depending on your, um, you know... You answered it yourself, then. Uh -huh. yeah. it, 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 it depends on your, um... What you, what you hate most, but then again, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to pass proper judgment until I see all the movies myself. Look, when I say you need stupid characters to make a plot, there is a line with that stupidity. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh boy. Boy. I have yes. I have standards. Okay? Yes, I mean, don't worry though. Don't coming. worry though. Finally, one of the saviors of this movie is coming. Here's mommy. Okay, Dwibs, which do you want to be, the mom or the dad? The dad. Of course. Of course. Because of the action that dad gets. Yeah. And well, sure, the no, honestly, I didn't actually manage to distinguish which one was the father and which was the mother. Sorry, what, what, what do you mean? Um, the dinosaurs or the human characters? Who? <laughs> uh, uh, the dinosaurs. Like, right. you're, you're sure asking this in a movie where Jeff Goldblum, uh, a white person, as a black kid, as a child. Rexy, where's our son? I don't know. Wait, why did you call me Rexy? That's the one from the other island. Have you been cheating on me again? No, oh, yeah, yeah, this scene, this scene, this scene. I, 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 I want to comment on this scene. Uh, comfort her, reassure her that. Nope. Okay. Why You're am I so okay? Okay, Jova. To reassure the child that she won't. Okay, Jova. Okay, Jova. Okay, Jova. Aside from the fact that he's that his uh, delivery is hilarious, give me one reason why I should like this character. When did I have? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Granted, he is probably one of those awkward parents. However, I'm not going to argue that you should like him. What I'm saying is like, well, he's not. I guess he's not outright despicable, but 
I guess they're trying to portray him as the kind of parent that's very having a very awkward relationship I'll, with their uh, kid. Uh, uh, allow me to quote. Well, there's one thing that I always like to quote from Spoonie's Final Fantasy VIII review that I like. Basically, if people are this stupid, Jova, it's kind of hard for me to feel sorry for them. It really is. <laughs> oh boy. Here we go. So, um. Oh yeah. Son, where are you? Come on, I've prepared your favorite meal, Triceratops. Nah, that's too. Wait. Nah, the, 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 nah, the, there's uh, horns in it. Wait, honey. The size of human nuggets. Yes. I smell something oh, yes. that I and haven't Beam's smelled in a while. So, yeah, this one was so <coughs> stupid not to answer the fucking phone. Um, nice. Honey, I think I smell that wonderful there smell. There we again. go. And chokes. Mm, no, that was just a cheap. Well, shit. Uh, it's gonna pop up right there. Goldblum, I don't want to see your face closer <laughs> to the cam. Oh, hello there. It there. Is. All right. <clears throat> hello there. I believe you have someone we're looking for. Give us back our son, or else my wife will tear you don't apart. Don't fool about, you idiot. Oh, it's been a while since I've tasted gee, humans. Gee, gee, if I didn't know any better, I would say bringing, uh, bringing the T-Rex here was a bad idea! Who could have nah, thought? Man, you're, you're, just, you're just thinking too much. Well, we done fucked up. Vince Vaughn, Dr. Malcolm says this is a bad you know, idea. Just, uh, just because the movie acknowledges that it's stupid, that doesn't change the fact that the movie's stupid. He says it's a bad idea. Yeah, I mean, something can be self-aware, but it can be written properly. This is just... Oh, boy. Yeah. I wish uh, I was watching uh, The Martian my, again, honestly. My, my favorite example of that is, of course, The Holy Grail, <laughs> the funniest movie ever created, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> then the castle of... Arg. What? He must have died while curving it. Oh, come on. Well, if he was dying, he wouldn't oh, bother wait, to wait, spell out on, Arg. He'd just say it. <laughs> <laughs> they came for their infant. No <laughs> shit! No <laughs> shit! Probably that's the only reason why they're, they aren't tearing you apart so right now. So what are we going to sacrifice to take them out? Uh, I'm voting for this one. Take the muzzle off it. Alright, uh, I'll be right back, guys. Alright, alright, we'll get you a McDonald's on the way home. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, honey, don't fill up too much. They have uh, Mario toys in them now, you may even get a Yoshi. Them. How ironic would that be? <laughs> Jesus. Easy. Don't drop him. There you go. Wrong. And why are you so Go back, 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 run back, run back, run back, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door, lock, lock, lock. Shut the fucking door. Oh, right, I did it. Shut up. <laughs> Jesus, I didn't know you- I knew humans were dumb, also, I didn't think they could be annoying. Also, you are probably catching a cold by now. Oh, oh yeah, honey, that reminds me, how come we don't get colds? Um, uh, I guess because we're warm-blooded and we have a thick enough hide. Yeah, actually, that's that's a good answer. Uh, I don't remember, the dinosaur actually got, um, you know, sicknesses? Yeah, they I died. Remember. No, I know. I I mean, <laughs> uh, back in the day. Oh Jesus Christ, dreams. I mean, he means if like, they got diseases, dreams. Yeah, they got cold or stuff like that. There is some stuff to suggest they like, that, that's did. Some, that's a part but... of paleontology that I don't remember. <laughs> Gee, hey, you you, you, you really think also this toy? Yeah, you really think that just giving back the bo the baby's bag would have been? Enough, you know. I didn't honey, know dinosaurs this, like Hot Wheels. Honey, these bastards didn't give our son back his toy. Destroy uh, fun! Right! It's also we, funny how the T Rex is. Oh, ah, 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 stop give me. him his body toy! It's also I will so wreck funny up your vehicle and then eat your corpses! It's so funny that the T Rexes are basically no, uh, are basically considering them so worthless they don't even want to eat them they just want them pushing them off the cliff yeah hey fun fact apparently the t-rex actually was kind of smart as a predator and it would actually consider whether or not prey was worth eating or just killing if it so yeah apparently going by that oh. logic these t-rexes consider them too stupid to live or even be eaten that feel when you're not a worthy prey 
<laughs> Ow. Uh, also, she would have died for the fall. But da, da, sure. Da, 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 da. Where's, oh, okay. where's Peggy? I'll be right back. Uh, he, he, he said he's here. Okay. Also, and, that glass cannot be that uh, you know fragile. Honestly, just a human being cannot do this kind Bonnie, of thing. Can you see his Barney toy anywhere? Oh, I found it right here. No, Bonnie, no, that's I... the that's the uh -huh. mouse trap. Ow! Uh, I'll, hang on, hang on. I'll um. Oh, there it is. Oh, what do you know? It actually fell out of the truck. We didn't even need to kill them. Uh, well, they're too stupid to eat, so... Uh, uh, you want to toss bitch. them off? Well, what do you think we should do? Should we eat them, or should we just toss them off the cliff? Now we'll leave them. They'll fall down anyway. Eh, alright. Alright, come on, honey. Let's go and have our tea. Mm-hmm. Roasted, roasted Vince form. Oh, wait! We left the Vince Vaughn back in the truck, darn! Ugh. Um, well, mm. I guess it's porridge again. Mm hmm Wait. Maybe. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Come on, let's go. We've already eaten enough screen time. Yeah. Literally, we eat up all the rest of the cast that we get the most screen time. <laughs> like they don't recognize us as the stars. Okay, she doesn't here it die. Comes. Oh, no, no, no. You think that's lucky? You ain't seen nothing yet. I know, I know. Sadly. Long live the gold bloom. And then he lets go and she falls to her death. Wait, honey, I think I smell cannon fodder. Someone trying to escape an island of dinosaurs by driving away? It's... Well, he's beeping loud enough. Let's eat him. Oh, yeah. He's the extra special. Yes. Hey, honey, I have a better idea. Oh, yeah. How about we wait until it looks like he's going to save them, and then, just right at the last minute for special effect, we do an over-the-top eating? <laughs> yes, it'll be delicious and fun. <laughs> Damn you, rule of drama. <laughs> okay, let's hide. We can hide? Yes, we can. We're actually smart enough for that. If Godzilla manages manages to hide in Manhattan, they can do that. <laughs> and hell, if he can even if he can somehow go into the sea without causing a big splash. Mm. All right, I'm back. What did I miss? You're not funny. Uh, <sighs> stupidness. Oh, okay. McDonald's food. Wendy's is so much better. How about Burger King? Oh, I love Burger King. I am. I'm having a pizza hut tomorrow. Sweet. Yeah, we, we seem to be taking a lot of food stuff from America. Well, it's good. But then again, we've had KFC <laughs> around our past. For I 50 still years wish now. we had more KFC here in my country. Oh, but then again, God, we started having that out. Just now. What? You you are missing out if you don't have a KFC. We. Oh, we I know. No, no. Trust me, Jova. I yeah, went to KFC one uh, for like last year's uh, first day of the year, like first January, in order wow. to celebrate. Because we we started having in our countries just now, and um, oh. in two different uh, cities. So I went into one the first of January just to go into that KFC. Oh, luckily, we should be getting more uh, as time goes on, but we're still in the uh, early stage. It's surprising we're just getting it right now. Oh boy. Ugh, shoot, you uh, think you know, they were... Red shirt, you should probably do something. Jeez, you think they were... Jeez, you think they'd be in England with all this rain. Speaking of which, Dwivs, how has the weather been over in England? Fine, recently. How ironic, since it's been sort of uh, non-stop rain over here. <laughs> we gave you our weather. <laughs> how funny. Whoop. Whoa! That looks very uncomfortable. Yeah, that's probably because it is. Yes. <laughs> Surprise! 
We're coming for you. <laughs> Not yet, honey. Not yet. Just at the right moment. Ugh. Oh boy. So, uh, bet some whether or not the bald guy will actually manage to de pull it off, honey. Um, if he does, I'll, um, I get to eat his head. If he, uh, doesn't, uh, if he doesn't, I get to eat you. Ooh, I get to eat that juicy, dangly part of the males. Ew. Ew. What? They're very tasty. They taste like shit. People said Krogans are better. And I've eaten shit. So I know what shit tastes like. <laughs> yeah, I never understood how drunk you were when you ate that Triceratops poop. Ugh, it, it took me five days to get that stench out of my mouth. Hello. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. You're just, You're just in time to see the, the red shirt's death. Yeah. Oh, yes. lovely. Yeah. Almost. We can't eat metal, remember? Yeah. Also, fuck that a jeep manages to pull off a truck. No, no. With, like a, with that weather terrain? Man. Yeah, no. Just, just <laughs> no. Top Gear, this is not. Yeah, it, Top Gear at least has some logic to it. Mm. Come on, our son's starving here! Hmm. Oh boy. Jesus Christ, uh -oh. we're gonna be here for a while. She almost killed everyone. Yeah. That's how stupid she is. Yep. How about we play a party game? Um, which one should we play? Okay. I spy with my Wait, little. Oh, never on. mind. Never mind. It's right in position. Alright. Surprise! We're back! Yeah, for no particular reason mm, whatsoever. That smells good! We're hungry, that's a good enough reason. Yeah, and we're still mad, kind of mad about you taking our son. Yes, now you'll have to pay the toll. No hard feelings, really. Oh no, yeah. the insurance doesn't yeah. cover that. Yeah. The car never tastes good, but it'll be worth it. Ugh. Oh wow. Oh, don't run away, we're having such fun. Sure we are. <laughs> oh, no. uh oh, quick, honey, he's getting out his airbag. So he's stuck in the car? Yep, yes. and he can get his rifle because he's an idiot. Oop. And here we go. Alright, who wants the head? Come on, honey, let's share. Alright. <laughs> no. Ooh, dangly part. Ooh, and that... bullshit, 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 bullshit. That said, though, the scene of the T-Rex is eating that guy was awesome. Oh. Mm. How nice, I got to eat also, his lungs. very bad blue screen oh, effect. You no, know, honey, nothing beats eating a dead guy while well, there's several explosions happening around. Mm. Alright, let's go home. Alright. <sighs> And that ends mine and Jonah's dinosaur skit. For now. <laughs> yeah, now surprisingly the evil douchey hunters wants to help them. Like, fuck that. No. Well, honestly, well, well, honestly, Tio, the hunters never wanted them dead per se. They, they, honestly. Considering how a threat being spawn is, yeah, if, if they should have. They should have, honestly. Well, that's Vince Vaughn. Everyone else is nowhere near as dumb as Vince Vaughn's character. Like, in fact, the, the hunters... Thanks to Vince Vaughn, now even the hunters are straight here without proper equipment, nor, um, you know, communications. So Vince Vaughn is pretty much in <laughs> one of those crazy environmentalists. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of like the ones that basically rub in your face. As I mentioned, it's kind of like the ones that rub in your face when you're evil just because you're eating meat or something. Ah. Uh. Wonderful. I love pointing out to vegetarians and environmentalists that plants are technically living organisms. Yeah. And you guys do well, know that the animals that you're protecting do eat other animals <laughs> as well. And also, <laughs> uh, to the <laughs> more severe, so to the more severe vegetarians who don't allow their pets to eat meat, that's kind of an animal abuse because they kind of need their specific diets 
Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Pete Pufflepoint pointing out that Vince Vaughn's character is an uh, ecomaniac. Yeah, you just turned yes. the point in my book. Yeah, yeah, here you are. <laughs> So since we're now starting, we need to go to the nearest center and uh, use communications that we can found. But that means, you know, going deeper into the app. Oh, come on, Tio. If it's as easy as the Sega Genesis game, it's, this should be a snap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you play as Raptor, you know. <laughs> well, hey, well, hey, Grant showed us that you can get through it single-handedly. Yes, Velociraptors. Oh. Yeah. Don't you mean Philosoraptors? No drinking on the job. You know, apart from the ridiculous stupidity, this movie isn't overly terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I said, it's still quite a blast in some regards. Now Jurassic Park 3, that's the one that <laughs> smashes away any hopes. I mean, at least this movie has the decency to excite us with the dinosaurs. And not, yet... Not, not, not in that way. Uh... <laughs> Ha! <laughs> cute falsifiers reference. Hmm. Actually, I wasn't going for a. Huh. Never mind, Jova. <laughs> <laughs> eh, it still works. But what, what were you referring to? Um, no. nothing else. Just a loot Don't reference. Don't okay, then. Reference. That's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah. My blandness acting shows how serious yes. I am. You will, yes. show uh, uh, uh. you will show respect for our doughy guy, okay? Even though he died in such an awesome manner. <laughs> Not so much the fact that he died because Vince Vaughn brought the baby T-Rex there. Yeah, you know, just yeah. so you, Honestly, just so why did not Vince Vaughn's character die? He, he deserved that. You know, hey, hey, you know what this reminds me of? You know um, you know the movie Deep Blue Sea? The one about this idiot the scientist The one where Michael who... Jackson's dying in an anticlimactic way. Michael Jackson? Oh, sorry. Uh, you mean Samuel, Samuel Jackson. Jackson. Sorry, uh, I'm confusing <laughs> names tonight. Wow, that's <laughs> a slip up. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, that movie. Basically, um, you know the idiot scientist that eventually does die? You know, like, well, the one who gave the sharks the super intelligence? Well, apparently in the original cut, she was supposed to live, and some other black guy who people actually grew to like characterize was supposed to die. But apparently, um, um, when they initially showed it to the test audience, the audience were basically saying at that point, die, you freaking bitch, to the scientist, and were rather mad when uh, the black guy died. So, for the actual re film release, they made it that the scientist, you know, sacrifices herself to save people because, you know, she was the one who caused the dang accident, and they actually let the black guy live after all. And that's the story yeah. of how Deep Lucy actually pulled off something smart compared to a lot but, of movies that do but, this sort of Samuel style. Jackson died. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, I guess this character was meant to die. However, there was another character that people loved oh so much that they didn't want killed off. Uh, I think it was the guy who played the cook or something. Yeah. But yeah. Anywho, be right back. Okay. So. Okay, speaking of. Um, um, yes. This this thing for Jurassic. This, this thing's fine ish, I guess. You know, the music that's throughout most of the movie. Seems like one of those songs that's here to serve its purpose and rather not just be a good musical piece itself, so it's okay. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. This was before John Williams did the Harry Potter music. Because mm. <clears throat> he doesn't usually do films with magic in them, does he? Uh, yeah. Mm, well, I aside, aside from Harry Potter. What, would Hook count? Because Hook does. Yeah, Hook, Hook, yeah, but Hook doesn't have magic in it. Actually, it does. What are you talking about? It has magic dust okay. that makes you fly. It did. It did. It has. Ma it's I keeps a seen, I haven't actually seen the Hook in full. Ah, okay then. Not to mention, uh, uh, hold on. Let me think. He's also doing BFG. 
Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Steven Spielberg's making a BFG movie. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, I'm confusing with the original one. Yeah. So I think it's actually been the first Roald Dahl live-action movie in a while. I am Spanish, I want to eat tacos or something. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that, that that's Spielberg's subtlety in a nutshell. Yeah. Well, then again, Spiel, then again, there's a difference between being unsubtle with Spanish stereotypes and being racist. True. Sure. And again, it was also involved Transformers 2. Also, what kind of rifle is that? And again, it's an executive producer there, so... It's a sniper... You, you, want, to hunt di you want to hunt dinosaur close and personal with a sniper rifle. You Seriously. Know, you know what would be the most awesomest weapon ever? What? What, what the BFG from Doom? No, a uh, sniper rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> how, how can you do that? Simple. Bolt a sniper... Get get the scope from a sniper rifle and build a rocket launcher. Okay. Yeah. You can aim. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Remember, uh, now it be established that being spawn character is a eco freak, you know, with all ambientalism and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay. Remember, I'm yeah. Back. Remember that scene earlier when he started smoking? Ah, good environmental message, there, buddy. <laughs> I only care about the environment. I don't care about my lungs. Hmm. Oh wait, Speaking but I'm destroying of... the environment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Oh uh, yeah, this thing you were doing my siesta I don't have time to care. <laughs> well, he's listening to music and he can't hear the other guy. Um, Die Hard did this better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also, uh, the original Journey to the Center of Your did better the guy that strays off the path and gets lost. Uh, I haven't seen uh, the original Journey to the Center of the Earth, I'm sure. afraid. It's, it's cheesy nowadays, but it's still a, uh, uh, interesting. Yeah, if, if, you, if you guys... If you, if you guys... It used, like, it used stock footage uh, lizard, uh, lizard movies uh, for, you... uh, videos for doing the dinosaurs. If you guys, if you guys hate characters getting lost because of stupidity, why do you see Daleks Invasion Earth 2150 AD? Hmm. And here's what I'm talking about. Uh, what he was talking about to Pedro area. Yeah, this thing about the consonants are right down, right downplayed. Like as you can see, he doesn't seem like much of a threat. The guy looks like he could just rip them apart one by he one could. easily. He, he's just holding back because of story reasons. Uh, actually, Tio, he's being overwhelmed. Trust me, Comfies are a lot stronger than they look. I mean, yeah, they you are, could yeah. potentially kill one by one, but honestly, they're going way too quickly. And trust me, oh, he hasn't... how cute they are. Not to mention the fact that yeah. they can also be intelligent enough to strategize. See? How many Strength times do I have to numbers. tell you... How many times do I have to say here that them being cute is only a cover? How many times? <laughs> how many times have you, you been told to not to wolf down your food? They should delete them. Hey guys, what? How many times have you been told not to wolf down your food? Actually, actually, I just, I just uh, remember that. So thanks for that, Vibs. Uh, Jova, you were, you were talking the other day about um, you, bad using bad music uh, for comedic purposes. Um, uh, the, the Bard song from King's Quest Free. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> it, come on, Vince. Oh, no, not Vince, sorry. <clears throat> um, Spanish guy. guy. Never mind, I'm... Oh, yeah. Leave your pack behind, you... Oh, no, it was... That's actually uh, not his the... guy. That's Rollins. Yeah. Still, the guard for completely forgot about him. <sighs> Guess he cares more about his money, money, money. Money, money, money. <clears throat> oh. Okay, from this angle, he looks like Sam Neill. <laughs> Discount Sam Neill. Ding. You see, 
You see what they're doing, Tio? They're weakening him. Basically, they know they can't take him while he's at full strength. How, however, if they swarm him every now and then, they'll weaken him. It's basically the usual oh, thing you do with your die? prey. Oh, you'll see, Shroy. Gene, about. Uh, hold on. Say about 10 seconds. And yeah. here we go. Disney villain death. I will, give the movie this, uh, I will give the movie this, yep. though. The way the Compsies actually got him and were weakening him along the way, that was actually clever. Yeah, I'll give Ooh, it is that blood? Yep. yep. Ooh, lovely. This is about the goriest of Spielberg will ever get unless he tries to remake Saul. Well, to be fair, Lips, two T-Rexes did chew and chomp a guy in half. Mm. Has Steven Spielberg ever made a movie where there's been... Gore, like excessive gore. I mean, uh, well, actually, sure. Before he became famous, he actually made a few horror films. So, right. oh, so he's like Sam Raimi in that regard. Hmm. Also, Jaws. There's Jaws, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I like Jaws. I haven't seen Jaws. It's pretty really? good. Really? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I'm again, I haven't on seen that commentary. I think I haven't seen other movies mm. in their entirety. Like, oh, oh come on! Dude. <sighs> it was actually we actually watched the movie in our music um, classes to show the effect of that music can have in a film. Like, we watched. Oh, you the classic Jaws theme. It's right? like it's like that video I told you about where some guy edited out the John Williams music of the final scene in the first Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes it pretty so awkward. We watched, the, we watched the first death scene in Jaws with no music, and it was actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thus the humans went to bed at night, except Pete Postlethwaite. Because I think that's Pete Postlethwaite. How can they sleep during all this? Uh, I'm I'm we're, we're, taking, we're taking turns, Shiroi. We're well, just having guards yeah. taking turns. Well, again, Shiroi, I, I, I just recently saw a film where a guy got stranded on Mars and still managed to sleep. Oh. Hmm. Okay, my video paused a bit. I'm, I'm paused at 1 hour, 21 minutes, and 22 seconds. I'll be over when you get there. All right. I accidentally paused. Yeah. The don't worry. They're just, don't, they're just going over their um, plan at the moment. What time are you at? One twenty twenty six. All right, then. I hope we shouldn't miss the awesome scene that's about to come up. I'll be right back. All right. Go ahead. Or Jeff Goldblum. See, yeah, I'm actually having more fun with this movie than um, free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for obvious reasons. So is it one twenty one twenty two? You said. Yep, one twenty one twenty two. All right. Okay. We're, we're just a little bit off. Where we'll get there. So, Jeff Goldblum goes off to try and walk in on um, people. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. And he kept people awake at night with all his stuttering. Hmm. Okay, Jova, get ready. In all right. three, two, one, go. There we go. So there we are. That's the scariest image in the movie. Yeah, the blood. Yeah, and Tio dropped. Vibrating water. You know what that means. Oh boy. Someone's coming. Hee hee hee. Yeah. Hmm. I knew I smelled a bit of that. Could they have actually survived? Hmm. Uh, Who knows? Maybe not. Hello. Oh, sure. Fresh meat. Yeah, they don't get to see humans a lot. Uh, yeah, and they taste so good. Alright, I'm gonna try taking Tio out and re adding him again. Oh, he dropped? Yes. Mm. Don't worry. Mm, I know that smell of delicious scientist flavor. Ba back now, Tio? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks. <laughs> okay. 
Also, yeah. should point out that the black girl did not do any. Mm -hmm. True, she has no point in this movie at all. Aside from that oh, one oh, scene. Oh, she'll do something later. Fine, <laughs> aside from that stupid scene, but. Uh... Oh. <laughs> You're talking Jeez, about the, child, what are the right? issues I have with the girl in the first movie about how circumstantial her role is. Mm. Some things never change. Wow, that scream sounded so. Mm. You hey, idiot! Where are you? All of a sudden, it became dark. What do you mean we can't see the humans? Ah, there was some blanket over my face! Oh, and there's another bullshit part. Hey, has anyone made sure that the child is okay? You stole their ammo, Vince Vaughn! So now these humans so have no protection. So yeah, mm. the events, the, the, all the events in this movie are Vince Vaughn's fault. Oh, I'm going to eat you so good! Yeah, okay, Tio keeps Ooh. dropping in and out again. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Internet issues? I'm sure you'll be back. Car's going all over the place. <sighs> hey, has anyone ever made sure that the child is okay? Uh, I, I don't know. Who cares? Who cares, I, Leroy? I forget. Well, they should care. Well, we don't have to, but don't they worry, can. don't worry, don't don't worry, Shroy. The kid will be okay, for better or for worse. Hmm. Doesn't matter what you think of her. Stupid parents cannot be ignored. Hmm. Okay, honey, I'll go after them. You go after the hunter guy. By the way, where is the hunter guy? <clears throat> I don't know. Did you really Just let me think... know if you find him, okay? Did you really think that would work? Let's use our game gear, I mean GPS, to find him. <laughs> Did you really Come on, think... Pete Puffle Foy, use the... Use the what? Ooh, it's gonna be a whole buffet! Use the force. Peekaboo! <laughs> ah. I don't know what'll be better. Me eating you by the truck or my husband getting the hunter who's really been a pain in our ass. Mm. Mm. Honey, what are you waiting for? They're right there. I'm just licking them. They taste so good. Eat them! Oh my god! You see, honey, that's what I'm waiting for. For my lunch to come right to me! <laughs> okay, it works, thanks. Mm, that was... Mm, I love the taste of snakeophobia. <laughs> we should do that more often. Jojova, uh, you mentioned that in the Lego video game they point out how stupid that scene was. Uh, which scene? The one with the snake? Yeah, well, the scientist jumping out uh, in the... in basically in the T-Rex's mouth. Uh, um, I don't recall that one. I mean, I know that they point out some other stupid things, but I'm not quite sure if they directly addressed that. But yeah, Lego, yeah, they probably did. Mm. Well, honey, I had quite oh, the... Oh, here we go. Um. Oh, man, the velociraptors are going after them. They... Always deepen on our prey. Uh, come on, honey. We're not going to beat the Velociraptors today. Just eat them as well. Well, well, it depends. Are they as big as Rexy? For those who don't know who Rexy is, well, she's the hero of Jurassic Park 1. Hmm. Yes, that's right. They have an official name for that T-Rex. Hmm. Whoa. Oh yeah, shots like that when they just when that when they're falling. I like those. Ah! Hey, hey, Dad! Look what I got! <laughs> hey, I got that guy first. <laughs> Ooh, I got dibs on the black one. <laughs> what is the far obsession with we dark eat Mexican meat? tonight? <laughs> well, because they look like they've been cooked, and therefore. Well yeah, they Maybe. taste better than Italian, I guess. Seriously, yeah, seriously, they've already been cooked, therefore we can 
we, we can trick our children. Now, Dad, what do you think's best, Italian or British? Um, uh, German. Of course. They're more efficient, you see. And, and efficiency yeah. equals more delicious quality. But doesn't that mean that there's more muscle instead of fat? Yes, but oh. muscle makes you strong. Yeah, sure, Wait, run. Dad, I think I just heard us human stuttering saying, run something fast. Run, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, What do you uh, think fast. that one tastes like? Hmm. I smell gold bloom. Ugh, is that the rare meal that even Rexy couldn't get? Yes. Ooh, maybe we'll even beat the T-Rexes to him. Let's go for it. Uh, too late. They've already escaped. Ow. Oh. All right, kids, come on. Like they went, but it smells like they went by one of our kills. Nah, sorry, kid. Besides, it's 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 late. We should be going to bed. True. Come on, we can come on. We can have our tasty black guy tomorrow. Ugh. Eek. I still want one that says "clever girl" to me, like Nancy got one. Again with the good girl one. Will you shut up about that? Oh, but it's fun when they oh, say shut, shut up. Girl. Fine. Now, come on. Your mother's going to be very Yes, big vulnerable people manages to get to the facility unscattered. unscattered. Sure, why not? Why the fuck not? Because hmm. everyone loves Vince Vaughn, right? Jesus, I, uh, I actually like Vince Vaughn, thank you. <clears throat> He's been in good movies. Any good ones in particular? Uh, ha, ha, funny. Uh, the, again, the the ones where he's with Owen Wilson. Well, mind you, he was in the internship with Owen Wilson, and I've heard that movie kind of sucked. Well, I haven't seen that one, actually, so... Alright. So, um... Yeah, actually, that's a, that's an interesting point. Why having a research center <laughs> on the same island where you were just breeding the dinosaurs? Wouldn't that be a bit more, you know, dangerous to have? Actually, Tio, that was actually Tio. The reason they had a separate island for breeding the dinosaurs was no, 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 Jova. I mean, I mean, <laughs> why having buildings and people working here? Oh, well, because the dinosaurs were babies. They weren't as harmful but, back then. Uh, if when you they remember, become adults is when they put one, them... They showed that they let them hatch on Isla Nublar, and then they get them here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently the procedure is like, well, they send them here when they're kids, so they're still not as dangerous, and then they would later bring them back to Isle Nublar when they were full-grown and ready to be shipped and off. Obviously, that didn't work out well. Obviously. Okay, now where's Ooh, the, the test results came back? Okay, now where's the station with the seventies music? Ah, <laughs> Tia was doing so well. He dropped again. Yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> what? He oh, dropped. you're back. Oh, he's dropped again. This is starting to become sadistically funny. <laughs> <clears throat> the movie had enough of his bullshit. Ha ha ha, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, glasses guy, which means he's a nerd. Yeah. Which means he's probably gonna die. And also, we'll never see Peter whatever for the rest P of the movie. Pete Puzzle fight. Yeah. After this scene, shame actually just like, disappears. Shame, I like Pete Puzzle fight. Yeah, it's just like in Men in Black too. After this, uh, after this particular part of the movie, everyone like thirty percent of the character just disappear in the nowhere. I don't know. Hmm. Not important enough, I guess. I guess. Hmm. Yeah, but that's like getting Brian Cranston and killing him up. Uh... Mm -hmm. Wait. Godzilla 2014, Drova. Uh, you know, it's sad. I like that movie, but yeah, I can see why people don't like 
as well. Honestly, I hope that they honestly I hope that they follow the usual formula of having the monsters show up more in the sequel. That's what they usually do. But in the meantime, we got the oh, tele there. And she doesn't die because the raptor is no, no. too stupid to No, eat. no, no, not not Toe. Yeah. Toe ho, sorry. Take that back. Yeah. That ah, she tasted so idiotic. <clears throat> Son, why are you eating the bag? Uh, because uh, I think the bag tastes better than her, honestly, Dad. Ew. Also, don't, don't do that again. Uh, yeah, Dad. He thinks I'm that. Dad, he thinks I'm that stupid. Could you get him? Um, where is he? This music sounds. Right. This, honestly, this music sounds more like it would go in a jazz movie. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine now, James Bond involving dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> honestly, after dying of a day, if Pierce Brosnan did get another Bond film, I wouldn't have been surprised if it did that. Ow. <laughs> yes, by all means, try and stop me with the door, idiot. Huh. Sorry, Gilbo, but we're not as stupid as the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park 3. Attack! You mean really? the ones that have, uh, like, uh, long problems? We go, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Another problem I have with this movie is its pacing. I mean, this movie is dragging itself so much in also, the second Also, apparently act. the Raptors can excavate. Sure, why not? I'm a technical well, hey, third act now. They're, they're, they're close. Oh, no, this, no, movie, uh, this movie could have been yeah, 90 minutes. This movie could have been 90 minutes, and yet it's two hours for some reason. Because we have huh, a whole lot. Because we have a whole, whole lot new climax after this. That said, the third act does pick things back up, and well, I think everyone knows why we love the third act. The for that is basically Spielberg re remaking Godzilla, though to be fair, it's at least better than um, Godzilla 2014. Exactly, kidding. exactly. And, and, it's and Godzilla done right after the... 98. Yeah, but being better than God, the, 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 the last two American Godzilla movies is not an accomplishment. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, yeah. The but honestly, Pedro, I'm not even putting that just as an accomplishment. He actually does get the concept right, but... I'll talk about that when we get to ah. that scene. Boo! Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, and another thing I'll give this, Velo the Velociraptors at least still... Okay, the Velociraptors are still in character and for the Gold most Blue part. And still stuck in the competition. <laughs> okay, really, Goldblum? I know this is fun and all, but can you at least come out? Thank you. Heck, there you go. <laughs> oh, wait! Could you get me out of here? My neck's a bit stuck. Uh, I'm trying, but... Oh, God, it's this scene, isn't it? Uh... Yep. Uh-huh. Okay, honestly, I don't have as much troubles with this scene, but no, I'll bring Trevor, up no, why no, after no. it's I, I Honestly, it's really unexcusable. It, it's one of the worst uses of a Chekhov's gun I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, she's good at gymnastics, yeah, fair enough, but... um, Something's gotta go wrong, right? Hold on, oh, you're see, Shiroi. Don't worry. Oh, really? Uh, uh, bullshit. There's no way... went down from that. No, 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 kick. no. Sorry, that's just... That's yeah, bullshit. There's no, there's no way... First of all, there's no way a girl like the, that is capable of taking down a Velociraptor like that. And, and second, yeah, the, 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 second the, the Raptor was so stupid to just turn in and stare immediately while she said, Hey, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 that is stupid. I'm I'm not as bothered by that since I could buy the Velociraptor turning initially. What I can't buy, though, is the Velociraptor standing there for that long, seeing her clearly coming for him, well, or her being... Well, wants to take this scene seriously when they pull something like that, which isn't plausible in any way. Kind of yeah. distracting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that and kick yet really she hurts. doesn't fucking die. <laughs> like, seriously, her character has been endangered the most, probably, and yet she doesn't fucking die. Honestly, Tio, if it means sparing her, I'll spare her just so we can get Vince Vaughn's character killed. She at I, least still seems to have some for humanity. 
Well, honestly, Sarah Harding is kind of an idiot, but really, for the most part, she's been competent enough. I mean, she hasn't been outright endangering them right. that much. Right. The right. How could you be so stupid as to fall for that trick? Yes. I have no idea. Why don't you just show me? Well, why don't, well, Wait, why don't you let me show you? <laughs> yeah, um... Honestly, me and Jova's skits with the dinosaurs has been my favorite part of this commentary so far. <laughs> me too. By the way, I call voicing Rexy for Jurassic World. Hmm. Come on, cameraman, you can keep up. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's right! Quick, we can't let the cameraman die! <laughs> He's the best character. Well, aside from Jeff Goldblum and the T-Rexes. Oh. The uh, dropping curse has passed on to Shiroi. <laughs> oh dear. Joyful. And yes, once again, the big bad man well, saves you! Well, so Skype sometimes crashes for her, so... Mm. And that's the end of the movie. Pretty much. Well, honestly... Yeah, honestly. see, the movie, yeah. okay, the movie should have ended right here. And yet, for some reason, people thought it was... Be yeah. oh. Guys, um, yeah. honestly, Pedro, what time are you at? 1.39, uh, 11, 12. Okay, hang on. And Vince Vaughn still shows out to be a dick. Yeah. Oh, and, honestly, uh, Pedro, this, honestly, Pedro, this first act that's coming up is crazy awesome enough to actually justify continuing the movie. Yes, it's dragging, but here's what I would have done. What they should have done was cut off his second act and just, you know, oh, sorry, okay, skip the head to the T-Rex at... chase and then the boss Uh, Jova, she already needs Jova, to... one moment. I'm at 1.40.30. Okay. 30 or 13. Okay, 1.40.30. Um, shush, shush, shush. One hour, 40 minutes and 30 seconds. Free zero. Okay. Got it. Okay. Awesome. Carry on, Sorry, Jova. I couldn't By talk the way, no, Shiroi, let me t just tell you, uh, from now on... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. From now, the characters of Vince Vaughn, the Black Girl, and Peter, whatever, will disappear from the movie. And now, then we will just focus on Jeff Goldblum, his supposed girlfriend, and the dirty uh, asshole that's the nephew of uh, John Hammond. Uh, actually, to you, the, um, uh, the daughter and Vince Vaughn still stick around to pull off one last thing concerning the third act. <laughs> Thank it's you. Shiri? Oh, Shiri, oh, yes. Shiri, get ready. Three, okay. two, one, click. Awesome. So, yeah. So, yeah, the hunter point by Paul Fulfoyd is pretty much done. I mean, he's caught the male T Rex, but he's pretty much said, okay, I've had enough time doing with death. I'm done. I've done my job. Honey? Honey? Where are you? Oh, yeah. Honey, there's a perfectly good meal to share. Where are you? Too comfortable, son. I make sure you don't get killed by a Spinosaurus. Hmm. I can't find her son either. I'm hysterical here. Don't get killed Rem by a Spinosaurus. Remind me what CDB is supposed to be. San right. Francisco. Yeah. Wait, so, yeah. wait. So we will have a climax in San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge will not be destroyed. Hang on, I'll have a look. Really? No, no, I remember how the climax works, but the Golden Gate Bridge will not be destroyed. Eh, honestly, the T-Rex isn't big enough to destroy the Golden Gate Bridge. I know, no, but we have, a, we, we have a disaster scene in San Francisco and will not destroy the Golden Gate. That, that's, that's preposterous. And there's Biggest Dickus. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't you see? I, I'm our uh, Jeff Goldblum. Ah, uh, uh. <laughs> remember, he sacrificed his life to save his, to save ours. <clears throat> so, <laughs> these people are going to regret this. I can tell. Yes, you have no idea, Shiroi. Quite. And it culminates to one of the best scenes in the entire Jurassic Park franchise. Well, even, like though the, even though the premise is a bit wonky, I never understood how they could, how the T-Rex did that, what, you're about, what we're about to see. 
Well, I guess to be fair, wait, hold on. Uh, let's see what the scene is. <clears throat> oh no, it's weapon, it's attacking. Quick, use the sister ray. <laughs> Twenty six knot. How fast it is? That's uh, pretty fast. Knots are pretty much the water speed for a ship. Um. <laughs> dot dot dot. Reduce your speed at once. Oh no, Goldroom is lightly out. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, it's going to hit! Uh, not an iceberg. Uh, guys, it's going to hit the deck! Guys, run! Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 Jova. Ship hitting deck? That was in speed 2 as well. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's speed two. Well, we did warn you, but... You Ship know. crashing into deck. When did um, speed two come out? 1997. Huh. Same here. <clears throat> Sorry, Maybe speed two through. got a few things from this. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Speed two saw that uh, Jurassic Park 2, which was, all, uh, well, which was an all-time popular hype fest at the time. They thought, hey, Jurassic Park 2 made a boat crashing into the deck seem cool. Maybe we could totally do it with our film. That's why we'll change it from a fast moving ve- That's why we'll change it from a fast moving vehicle to a boat. Because yeah. they wanted to do that one scene. Yeah, I mean, it's not like our movie's going to be called one of the worst sequels of all time or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, we right. can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this movie is good. Okay. Can I get away with it? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Here's the scene. Now. Here's the scene. Basically, the T Rex broke free. Yeah, the exactly. idea is that. But apparently, he was so precise to not break anything, managed to kill everyone, and yet managed to set the ship so he would go full speed ahead. Like, yep. And to be gonna... fair, there's a reason for that. The guy's hand still on the uh, controls. That's just the steer wheel. <laughs> oh, uh, that's just, that's so just the steer uh, of the ship. Doesn't regulate the speed. Hey guys, yes. the, at least the at least the Rex gave the guy a big hand. But um, oh, sh- and also managed, the T Rex <laughs> managed to get himself back in the cage just in time to be you know closed. Now, considering what we figured out about the T Rex supposedly being smart enough to plan out some of its kills. I guess this is actually legit. I don't know if this was a historical thing back then, but I, going by I today's historical it. knowledge of a T-Rex, I actually can buy the T-Rex going back in there to hide just for it to get his prey. Oh, shoot. You separated me from my wife and my son. Now I am here to eat you all. Actually, that is a neat concept. A T-Rex that's just mad as hell and wants revenge. Any last requests? Uh, 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 please uh, don't uh, eat me, please. Where's my family, you bastards? Oh my god! (laughs) It's Liam Neeson's a is it is it Liam Neeson as a dinosaur? Watch this movie again. It's Jover and Dwigs just dubbed. Dub, yes, dub, this dub, year, dub, yeah, this yeah. this year's Christmas this, this year's Christmas Liam Neeson is a dinosaur. <laughs> it's brilliant. He wants his family, so he's gonna tear through off San Francisco to get back with them. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we're supposed to uh... hate him. Yes, we are apparently because he's Wait, what, did Gold, what did Goldblum say? Because now you're John Hammond. Yeah. Yeah, even though I doubt we're supposed to hate him, I go, maybe if it were John Hammond from the books, I would understand. Immigrants, that's topic. <laughs> eh. Ooh, a city full of fresh meat. Oh, boy. Oh, God, I love this scene. The T Rex is going to roam for San Francisco and cause damage. 
basically Godzilla done right. Big check. Are there any mods in GTA history that allows uh, dinosaurs to spawn into the cities of like Vice City or something? I believe there are. It helps that there are games using similar engines that have dinosaurs in them, so the rips are rather easy. Oh, yes, movie, your environmental message, it was right all along, we get it, fuck you. <laughs> what did Spielberg do after this movie? Uh, after this, he did uh, a Seven Private Ryan. How was ah, that? that was movie. It was pretty much uh, his, great mo his, his only great movie for a long time. Uh, like After Seven Private Ryan, he went into this period of... Uh, yeah. No, no, he did Armistad at first, then Saving Private Ryan. Oh, okay then. Have you seen Armistad? Uh, I don't think I have seen that one, no. And then after Saving Private Ryan was AI, then Minority Report, and if you can, then the Terminal of the Worlds, Munich. How, how was Munich? Uh, it was okay, I guess. Mommy, there's a dinosaur in our backyard. Spawny, you said that last week. Don't say expect uh, me to Ha be... ha ha, the boy who cried dinosaur. <laughs> um... Hey kid, you know how for your birthday you've always wished for a T-Rex? You know, since you were 10? Mm -hmm. Well, uh... Wish granted. Mommy, you got me a dinosaur animatronic. Yes, I did, honey. I hope you enjoy it. Wait a minute. The dinosaur animatronic wasn't supposed to come until tomorrow. And it eh, I guess it came early. And it wasn't that big, was it? And th wow, they really hit it out of the park with the realism. Yeah, it's even got saliva. Oh, no. How very realistic. Yeah, the new Dino Crisis game looks so realistic. Oh, hey, Boomer. Wow, it's even lapping up water from our pool like it's thirsty. Yeah. Also, I don't think dinosaurs Comedy. like the taste of chloride. <laughs> chloride by the way, by the way, water. the first, uh, I think it was the first one. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, this seed. <laughs> Darling, we were trying to have sex. <laughs> yeah, with our clothes on. Oh, yeah, there is such a thing. There is such a thing, yeah. like we've yeah. learned in Phantasma. There was like, we, like we've yeah. learned in, in Phantasma Gore, where it's possible to have sex with a woman even if she keeps her panties on. Yeah. Uh, um, honey, I don't think the manual said it eats stuff. Well, there goes what? Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> boomer will ah, we'll get you another boomer by the way that whole kid looking at him uh, 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 in the pool and shit that's so uh, Spielberg the, I, I think it was the first movie I think it was the first Big Rumors movie that ripped that scene off I, it was the first one right or was it the second one the uh, first one if you're referring to the dog looking at him yeah yeah Um, although I don't recall there being a pool thing in the first Transformers movie Whatever to me, those those to me, the, aside from Age of Extinction, those movies pre are pretty much all the same to me. So, mm -hmm. I like the first one. Oh, oh long, hey, long I time remember. No see. Long oh, time hey, no see. Oh, hey, I remember you. You're one of the Wait. few people who actually was nice to me, and one of the few people who wasn't an outright idiot like let that. Me, let me guess. Let me guess. Wait, 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 wait. I thought we released that. Guys, I can't remember everything from this movie, so let me guess. Is the baby going to tell its mother and dad to stop killing us or some shit? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. What's time. happening? Uh, no, 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 Shira. You're, you're confusing this movie with Land Before Time 2. Uh, you see, the thing, <laughs> the, the thing is, Shiroi, they're going to use the baby T-Rex as bait to to attract the, the mother. Oh, that's a fantastic No, 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 no. Pedro, 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 Pedro. It's not the mother, it's the father. That's well, whatever, the whatever. My Guys, still... can, I, can I object to something? What? Like that matters, Joe. Didn't we? Didn't we just free that T Rex? Uh, uh, actually, Dwibs, they caught it again. Eh. Go, Godzilla, Godzilla, no. 
run. It's Gojira. And yes, and, and, and yes, Shiro, it's not coincidence. Uh, Spielberg is going to ram it in your face that this is indeed parroting, no, not parroting, tributing Godzilla because there's going to be a Japanese person going, I left Tokyo because of this kind of shit. <laughs> oh, come on, Pedro. You, <laughs> you well, have to admit, it, it is awesome. Movie. It's a funny gag, yeah, but honestly, I can't. I, oh, Wait, Jack, can, with Arnold Schwarzenegger? I want to surprise. Can, can, can I can I see that movie instead? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's like it's like it's like um. There he is. It's like those fake trailers you saw in that Robert Rodriguez movie. I have to wonder though how how did they get Arnold Schwarzenegger to pose for a photo like that? It's Steven Spielberg, uh, Jova. There's no one he cannot get for. Oh. Look. That was for being a don't forget, to don't forget, her. don't forget, Joe. But that Steven Spielberg managed to get the president of the Motion Picture Association of America to make a guest cameo in fucking Freakazoid of all things. True. That show is fantastic, by the way. We need to we need to watch some more of that. Oh, <laughs> sure, definitely. Hello, my name is Jack Valenti, and these are my cheeks. You know, we get a lot of letters in the Motion Picture Association of America, and a lot of them are about my cheeks. <laughs> Son! I'm so tired. <laughs> Give me back my son, you useless piece of shit. Or I'll kill you with the 76 ball. <laughs> Let oh. my baby go. Okay, um... <laughs> that's not gonna work. Um, I'll just chase him. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not an option, honey. Yeah, Must go sorry. faster, must go faster. <laughs> silly You're under arrest! Silly for, uh... police and their guns. <laughs> uh, yes. You know what's missing here, too? Who yeah. Whoopi Goldberg going, Ah, oh, those poor silly humans. Yes. <laughs> oh, Pedro, it's funny you mentioned Whoopi Goldberg. Considering how she once acted with a T Rex. Yes, <laughs> Theodorex. Excuse me. Well, well, kudos with the music, John Williams. It truly feels like an action slash spy flick. I, 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 think, nope. I think John couldn't even realize exactly what kind of music he was supposed to put in this movie, so he just did whatever. <laughs> Thank goodness it works. He just did his thing. <laughs> okay, guys, I enjoy the caring, but I'm starting to get a bit motion sick. Oh my god, can this movie please end? I'm so I tired. Have... I'm so tired of it already. I don't come on, this is one of the more awesome scenes. I, I don't... I, it takes too long to get here. I'm drained I, by this point. I, I think I see your point, though. It's like what they should have done was cut down on the second act. Like yeah. like I said. The second act was went on for way too long. Yeah. yeah. How ironic. <clears throat> Jurassic Park 3's problem is that it's too short. This movie's problem is that it's too long. Not that that's really a problem for me, but I can see why it would be draining for some. Wee. So long. All right. Mm. You know, you should have conquered your fear. Now you're going to die. But you're don't you see? Yeah. Don't you see? He's too snobby to quit. Yeah. Mm. He made. He made me. You know, he made me persistent. He made you too dumb to quit. Too dumb to quit. <laughs> Okay, that's one of the few clever lines from that show. Oh, yeah, actually, what, what, what am I show? saying? What, uh, Sonic Adventures the Adventures of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'll, I'll take a, hey, I'll take Adventures of Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog out of anything that came out after Satan. That that show is um, a guilty pleasure, mm -hmm. I must say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll, nice. I'll, I'll, still take, I'll still take Adventures over Sonic Underground and Sonic X any day. Sonic Underground just makes me want to puke. Yeah. No, I'll still take that over Sonic X, even. <laughs> oh, how cute. Thank oh, you. Oh, there. I loved Thank that you. show in school. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, fellow dinosaur. You've just hey, brought Dick. me some dinner. 
Hey, Dad, can I have this one? He's a dick. Go, a, 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 a Shiro, give it to Sunkra. At least the focus was on Sonic instead of... You know, you know, you know who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, hey, back to this let's movie. Hey, let's double-team him. <clears throat> Jake, what? You know, honestly, I, 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 know, so I, 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 I know I'm supposed to be rooting for the, for him being eaten, but honestly, at this point, I'm, I just want the movie All to right. freaking end. Son, got some dinner for you. Really? Yes. Oh, good. Yeah. You know, maybe gold one wasn't so bad. This guy, however. When did the, oh, yeah. when, when did the baby T-Rex become Luke Triton? <laughs> <laughs> A true gentleman. Uh, always <laughs> eat his meal. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. It tastes good. Although, I think we should let that gold woman harding gallon guy go. Thanks, he helped me. Uh, Thank God this is you. almost over. Push the fucking button. <laughs> hey, wait! I wasn't done! Wait, Dad, we, there's still some left over. Besides, I think they're actually taking us back home with this better prey. Yeah, so what? So the stuffing are gone. Wait, wait a minute. Uh-oh, uh, Dad, you may want to duck. Get no scoped. What do you mean, duck? I think this is probably the only time I've ever seen Julian Moore actually fire a fucking gun. Pew! Oh! Oh shit! So, also, uh, yeah, reminder. the scientist, the scientist slash photographer who's never fired a gun in her life is suddenly now an awesome shot. Nice. Uh, yes. To be fair, to be fair she pressure? was good in doing photography, so I guess that means she has a good aim. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not buying that, honestly. Uh, it's, I'll it, buy it. It, it's one thing to go like Kubrick, where you go from photographer to cinematographer and then to director, but this is just pushing it. Yeah, you go from photographer <laughs> to, um, nice aim. Uh, son, I don't feel so good. You can have the, um, human. Thanks! Mmm! Oh. Ooh, he's got a bit of English and Welsh in him. The best of both worlds when it comes to tastes. And then the ship crashed into the island of the sunk and then they drowned. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, thank you for finishing the story, Dick Layton. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, 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 I, and guess what? Guess what, Shirai? Now we're what? going to ram the environmental message even more into our heads! Yay! Yay! <sighs> see, 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 this movie's so boring that the actors even ah, go, go, fell asleep. Yeah, see, yeah, there's the girl, she's back. Yeah, at but Vince Vaughn disappeared <laughs> anyway. Who cares? Good. CNN. Very good. Let's just pretend that he What's was in that compartment with the T Rexes. Yes, yes, yes. In fact, Tio, that's where he was. He was in that compartment with the T Rexes because he wanted to do something with them, like the environmental nut he is. Bernard Shaw. Is the, was that the actual guy from CNN? He looks like a discounted Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I'm still in the movie, you know. And this is the last we'll see of Richard Attenborough on screen in a Jurassic Park movie. Yes, behind the television. Could no, have been know. worse. Could have been much worse. His last scene could have been any scene in Jurassic Park 3. True. Ugh. <sighs> yes, leave and let leave. I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether Think I of the be... animals! Think of the poor oh, innocent animals! Back. Don't worry, honey, I saved plenty of human for you! Or did dun. you fill up on it while you were away? Also, herbivores are strolling down near a carnivore this family movie bullshit. Was so dun 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 dun. Anyway, honey, uh, dun 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 how is your dun dun dun. little tree? Also, the, why are the Terranodon Terran free here but still in the cage in Jurassic Park 3? Excuse me. Um, because they roam. They need to time out. Because they roam in and out when they please. Fuck that! I don't care. Uh, so, that <laughs> was, so that was the Lost World Jurassic Park. Okay, yeah. who wants to go first? Uh, sure, you go first. Okay, the music was. Well, as you said, um, don't think John Williams was even sure what he was meant to be doing, but the music is still great. Mm -hmm. And the characters are st stupid. 
not even like a mild kind of stupid. They are ridiculously stupid. It's um, it's it's not even plausible half the stuff they do. The worst, the worst being Vince Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. No one beats Vince Vaughn's character. Most of the actors aren't exactly invested. Hmm. Except Jeff the... when, oh. but in all the wrong ways. And I'd say, well, would you say that quite a few of the things that happened to you happened because plot demanded it? Mm-hmm, a few things. Although Jeff Goldblum and Pete Powerful Voice characters were, well, Pete Powerful Voice character was fine enough. Go on. I like the last. I like the last scene, but as Pedro said, like the not many exciting things happen between the beginning and then, so it was kind of draining and it didn't really deserve also, it. Also, this movie is about as. Uh, I don't know. This movie is still more subtle than a Neil Blomkamp film, but it's close. Eh, I wouldn't even say it's close. I'd say, like, well, it's at that a medium value. They're like, well, yeah, it hits you in the head, but it doesn't get to the point where it dominates the entire film for every single scene. At least they actually spread out, you know, the scenes where they hammer into your head with cool dinosaur action and people getting eaten. Hold on. Qu Same. Question, Shiroi. Okay, so. Question, Shiroi. Yes. Uh, uh, did you know that racism is bad? Um, okay. In that case, you don't need to see. Okay. In case, of the, in that case, you don't need to see see any new Bloom Camp films. You already know what. You already know the point. <laughs> so. Uh, to be uh, uh, to be fair, Pedro, racism isn't exactly the theme of Elysium or Chappie. Although that doesn't make them better than just wait, wait, David, David, David Chappie's wait, wait, David the second unit. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. Um, Chappie is supposedly about uh, AI and humanity, but then it becomes a a a, 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 a poor bunch of shit that doesn't even make any sense. Anyway, wait, so, again, again, wait, again, again, again. Hang on, else? do we have just something to say about the credits here? Yeah. David, David Cap directed the second unit. Apparently, yeah. Huh. Neato. Anywho, go on. So, yeah, anyway, um, no, that's it. Um, pretty, well, mostly harmless movie. Not the worst sequel I've ever seen. I can... I can ignore this. Mm -hmm. Can I go next? Yes. Sure, go ahead. Mm, it's the second best of the Jurassic Park sequels behind World. And, um, yeah, I mean, there are some good bits here and there. But overall... Um, it is pretty dumb. Mm. Not, 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 not so dumb to the point where I want to bash my head with a frying pan or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but uh, yeah, I, you, you do kind of get the feeling that not everyone here was on their A game, especially Spielberg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? Um, better than three. Okay, Tio, you go next. Uh, as I mentioned, yeah, I, 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 I'm very conflicted about this movie because it has some funny moments, it has some awesome moments, but like 50 or let's just say 70% of the characters are just so damn annoying, irritating. <laughs> also, and some of them are even out of place, like uh, Vince Vaughn or Julian Andrew, what, what was the name? Julian uh, Moore. Chick, Julian Moore. Yeah. They felt like they didn't even belong in this movie, and they, they just felt like they were going to be eaten, which ironically didn't even happen. I'm guessing Vince Vaughn got eaten off screen. I hope I can only hope so. But uh, even the black, and even the black kid, she has like one useful scene, and then that's it. She's useless yeah. for the rest of the movie. Like the just like that girl in the first movie. Just like that girl in the first movie. So yeah, very conflicted. I would still say uh, I don't even know how to say if this is worse or better than free. Honestly, I kind of feel <laughs> that both of them at the same level. Honestly, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I could. Have you seen Jurassic Park three recently? Yes. Yeah, Jurassic Park on, three is honestly, boring. at least there are like at, at least I like the character of Sam. Uh, what's the name? Sam Neil. Sam Neil. Oh, yeah. oh, you mean Neil Grant? Yeah, even though he does the stupid thing of Alan Grant, you mean thing, with the yeah, bronze bronchitis, like hoo, hoo, hoo. whatever. Sure. They should just uh, they, they should just uh, do what the Genesis game did and have Sam Neil go ooh 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 ah. Yeah. Anyway, mm. that that's pretty much for me. Okay, Pedro. Uh, pretty much what Teo said. 
Next. All right, then me. Okay, I overall like this film. However... Uh, how should I put this? You know that sequel that does a lot of things similar to the first movie, but does uh, some things watered down, making it good, but nowhere near as good as the first? That's this movie. Um, what gets me through this movie is the... Okay, yes, they, there are a lot of characters as dumb as a brick. However, I do like the reactions of the smarter characters, like Pete Poffelfoyt's character. Jeff Goldblum is technically one of the better characters, if only because he doesn't... He doesn't directly do all the freeing stuff. In fact, if anything, he's the one most... He's the one of the few protagonists against the stupidity of it. Ironically. However, I did... However, like the first oh. movie, the, the, the little girl character is circumstantial at best. And yeah, that's ringing in my background. What wonderful timing. But yeah, I mean... Uh, this movie's still fun. The music is outstanding. The characters vary... Um, if you count the dinosaurs as characters, they're better characters as well. I always like to, I always like to voice the dinosaurs, you know, going after the stupid folk. Um, the dinosaurs were done well enough. I love that awesome scene. However, I will agree that there are some scenes where it dreads. It's like, well, there's action to hold it up, but yeah, you're really kind of pushing it with scenes with them walking through the valley until the dinosaur chases. It's like I say with Pedro, um, what they should have done was cut down on the second act. The first act is sufficient. The second act starts off strong, but then has... This weird slowdown gap, which sort of drags it. And by the end of the second act, the, the third act, of course, uh, brings the movie to a wonderful conclusion. It's marvelous. It's over the top. But yeah, there is a bit of a dragging problem. I would recommend this to you folks out there, especially if you're in the Jurassic Park. It's a fun enough movie, especially if you turn off your brain. And just imagine that Vince Vaughn's character got eaten. Yeah. And like I said, it's harmless. I mean, I've seen worse sequels. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Hey. I still have fun with it, and I still, I still consider it an overall good movie. Not nowhere near as good as the first. Not even as good as World, but still good. So yeah, um, hope you had fun with this movie as much as we did, especially with the uh, picking on it scenes. And tune in for the next Jurassic Park experience. Jurassic Park free. Yay. Minus Tio. I'm yeah. still in, I'm still innocent to what goes on in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. See ya. See ya everybody. See ya. Bye. See ya.